Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Andrew Chicken, and welcome to my black screen. Come on. Hey, there we go. Welcome back to another live stream today. We're doing some more champion requests, and hopefully, I want to play some culture champions today, and so I've attempted to ask chat with a desperate pleading emoji to make me play champions like Makoa or Atlas or Eevee or something like that. Culture champions who are just fun and cool and awesome. And we're moderately successful today. Uh, we have one Atlas Redeem, but we also have a Point Tank Ash Redeem. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and make the first party of the day then, and let's jump right into these games. So if you want to join, say your name in the chat. I will invite, you guys know the drill by now. Let's invite Claymeister EU, as well as Mark All Meat, Marion Shul, and Savgi 2. There we go. All right. And yeah, I guess let's play some Point Tank Ash. All right. <laughs> uh, if there's one video, or I guess probably more like two videos, that I kind of regret making, it's Point Tank Ash videos. I made a, like two of those like a year or two ago. And... <laughs> Palacord still 
<clears throat> won't let me live that down. Because they think that by making those videos, I encouraged a flurry of point tank Ash players in ranked or something See? garbage like that. When the whole point of the videos yeah, was just champion. to show a fun oh, Ash play style and casuals. Champion. And <laughs> I feel like I should have made that more clear in those videos. That this is not like a super reliable strategy, right? It's not something that you can replace Barrack with in ranked or Inara with in ranked. Uh, definitely not in Ara, geez. It's just an interesting play style that can be fun to play sometimes. And yeah, I, I guess <laughs> they're so far behind the times that I that they think I still promote this. They also still think I promote Treacherous Ground Inara in 2023 when Mother's Grace is like her only talent. <sighs> listen, Palacord is dumb. You should you just shouldn't listen to Palacord, but yeah. <laughs> They really are something special. Some fashion sense into them. Palacord is the most brain dead side of the community, I swear. Yeah, it, it basically is. Because it's <laughs> it's the major main paladin server, and so everybody's on there. And most people kind of suck at this game. That's the honest truth. Most people are like gold, and they don't know what they're doing. At least not nearly to the extent that I you need to do in order to actually reach masters or something like that. And... Yeah, I guess that's why I've learned to be more careful when I'm advertising certain builds. Like Fortress Breaker Ash, on the point, yeah, it could be fun in casuals. Don't do it in ranked. <laughs> Just don't. Uh, unless you're, like, in a really specific circumstance where, like, all the point tanks are banned and you're on ice mines or something. Even then, it still might be better to go, uh, whatchamacallit, battering ram, but I, I don't know. I honestly haven't really played much Ash recently at all, so I guess we'll run a shield build uh, with extra HP, and we'll get some Kronos, because I know that's good for Don't this playstyle, and... Oh yeah, it really has been a long time. <laughs> I used to play this tank a little bit more. She was never one of my, like, super main tanks or anything, but... Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely stopped playing her since the period where I at least played her a little bit, so... This will be really interesting. We got some bogeys on the right. I can dismount Eevee there. There we go. I'm not going to be able to do too much to her this game, I don't think, apart from some little tickle damage here and there. Looks like they're not really pushing point, though, so I guess I'll just hold here. I'll put the shield up, and I'll wait. Um, we have already lost Savgi, but... I mean, I guess we're fine. Why are they playing so reserved? All right. Let's knock you away. Put my new shield down. And... Hopefully... Focus down Buck here. Ah! There we go. Nice. Alright, and I lost my shield, but that's okay. We can knock him back and get another one. This cycle reset can be good amounts of fun. The reason why it's kind of bad in ranked, by the way, because I guess I should explain that, is you can't get that reset on tanks who have shields, right? If Fernando puts up a shield and then you try to kinetic burst him, it's not going to work. You're not going to get the reset. And also, obviously, you can just kind of fly around the shield or go above the shield or destroy the shield with Wrecker. And at that point, you're playing a tank who has 400 DPS on the objective. And it's basically nothing else. Especially against the Nara these days. If Nara has Mother's Grace, you won't even be able to use your crowd control against her. You can get reset against her, but the crowd control is useless. So you're 400 DPS on a shield. And then I guess you have your ultimate, which is pretty good. But at that point, why not just play Fernando? You get better value, right? You have <laughs> slightly more DPS than Ash. Uh, a single target anyways, especially with that fireball. And you have a better ultimate. I would argue Fernando's ultimate is better than Ash's. But it also depends on the situation. Ash's can be better in some circumstances, but... That's a that's a massive generalization, I guess, I would say. Ay, caramba. I'm going to die. No, I can't even jump back onto the point. I just got my ult back, but we're all dead. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get Kronos Dose. Yeah, this is just looking really tough for us. It, it's so weird. They were playing so passive at the start. They managed to kill one of us, and then it looks like they're just DPS diffing us now, or something. I know I certainly am not doing a whole lot to help this team out, but we are going to kill Zahn there. Let me go ahead and charge this up, and let's just slam through. There we go. I almost launched him into the portal. That would have been funny. <laughs> Get out of here. Go into another dimension. Yes. Alright. And Eevee's over here. Oop. No bash for me. Okay. 
Uh, I probably shouldn't be this far up. I'll put a shield down, I guess. Uh, Savage's not looking good. Come over here. Oop, Evie's trying to come around. Your buck as well. Oh gosh, I don't know where I really want to be right now. Buck is dead though, so that's good. I'll head up here, I'll throw a shield down. I'll do a little bit of stuff. We can really hammer home at that Vivian ult right there. The power of AoE compels you! Yes, there we go. And we eventually take her down. I forgot how bad Ash's DPS is. <laughs> I really don't feel like Ash is a super meta tank right now. There are some circumstances where she can really be good, making space and stuff like that, but... I don't know, I feel like there are just better options these days. Obviously Inara, but you also have like Khan, Ruckus, Torvald, Azan. I feel like those tanks are generally better in the current meta. But, I don't know. I've never been a super huge Ash believer. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, they are really playing passive again. Ow! Don't stun me! Please! Looks like they're taking the fight up the middle. Put a shield down. <clears throat> We're capturing the objective again. Let's go. Hey, is on, sir. Hey, is on, sir. Give me shield reset. Or don't! That's another issue with Ash. Sometimes you're right click. You'll charge it up, you'll shoot it out, and it'll just go back on cooldown and it won't knock them back. It won't do anything. And that also really hurts this playstyle in particular. It doesn't hurt the other playstyles as much. But with this one, you're so dependent on hitting that kinetic burst that if you just don't hit it, it really screws you over. Okay, we lost Koga, but it doesn't look like they touched, so we do defend. Alright, nice. There we go. Hitting above shields feels so good with Ash. Yeah, it absolutely does. That is one very good thing about her is the cover denial. Like, she has terrible DPS. But, yeah, you can hit behind walls super effectively with her. Better than a lot of other characters, because she has a really massive AoE. And then it also explodes after a certain distance away. If I were to try to do the same thing with Willow right now, the projectile would just go until it hits the wall. But with this, I can control it and make it so that I'm hitting them right up there for mostly effective damage. That's why I don't like Slugshot at all. I still think Slugshot is absolutely terrible. Because <laughs> it does give you longer range. But it doesn't buff your DPS at all, so you still have the worst single target DPS in the game. And then you just don't have that cover denial and you don't have that AoE. So I really don't understand why you'd want to use it, except maybe on like Timbermill or something. But at that point I also kind of have to question why you're playing Ash on Timbermill. Anyways, let's just go for it. Make some space on the point here. Maybe shoot the buck. Eevee's back here. Oops, okay. Things are happening. Oh, I failed to put down my shield. I got stunned. Oh, no, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. I'm getting out of here. I'm running away. We need to reset. We didn't really cap that much, even though I ulted on the point, because Sazan was just standing there. Aye, sir. Sir, please, go away. Oh, that was out of range. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoulder bash back this way. I just need to heal up right now before I can touch the point. I have eight seconds to shoulder bash. I might be able to get it in time, but Yagaroth is our best bet to touch point. So, all right, you're dead. Good. Let's both advance on the point. That was an awful kinetic burst. I guess let's just unload into Eevee there. She dies. We've, we've retaken control of the point. Jeez, I can speak. Ah! I need more coffee. <laughs> mm. There we go. Yakaroth ulting out? I, I'm not sure what happened to it. I guess the person she tried to ult died before she actually ulted off. That's so weird. Let's just continue to hold the point. Let me throw this down. Azan is probably going to touch. But that's okay, because we can knock him away. JK, my kinetic burst broke again. Oh, it's a good thing he was just too slow. Oh, that would have been so awkward if that's actually the reason we didn't get the point right there. Okay, that's great. Well... I guess I'm just on point duty. <laughs> Hooray! Woo! This is fun! Let's go! Alright, I'm pushing up. I don't care. Yagroth can handle the point now. It's creeping up towards her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awkward walls there. Another reason why the shield reset is kind of awkward is because sometimes they're just out of range for you to even get the reset. And so, like there, I needed to get a shield. I could have got a shield if they were in range, but... They just weren't close enough to me, so... Really... Felt bad. Hmm. 32 years with no skins? Who? Moji and Pip? 
Hey, they, they, they both got skins somewhat recently in the past year. Yeah, Grok needs a new skin. There are too many champions that are just completely lacking any recent skins. Damba, Barrack being two other examples. Damba got the Shiro skin, but that's just a recolor of a skin he got a really long time ago, so I wouldn't count that one. Hey, Don't there we go. But, uh... Oh, uh, okay. You know what? Stomp! There we go, gotcha. There we go, we make some space, we get some kills. But yeah, those those two haven't gotten skins in a while. Octavia hasn't gotten a skin since her release. Nyx doesn't have a skin yet. Caspian only just now got a skin last... Or two patches ago. And... Yeah, it's, it's also weird, because I feel like a lot of recent characters don't really get that many skins. You know? I mean, Vatu doesn't really have that many either. And he's... Jeez, he's over two years old now, isn't he? He is ancient! Oh my god. But yeah, then there are also, obviously, plenty of older champions that don't have skins, too. Eevee hasn't gotten a skin in a very long time, apart from her gold skin. Hello, Vivian. You're really gonna go through the portal? Like, that's going to help you out? I'm playing Ash. I counter you. Nice shield, Bozo. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Great job. Let's get back to the point before Yagroth dies. Uh-oh. Ah! I knocked him towards my pip. What am I doing? I'm actually throwing. Oh, God. Shoulder bash. I'm dead. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Talus is another one. Azan's another one. Oh, my gosh. But no, give Tyra another skin. You know, she just got a skin this patch. A pretty nice skin, but, you know. <laughs> How many skins does she have now? Oh, yeah, Barrack's last skin was four years ago. I am gunning for a Santa Barrack skin this year. I hope that happens. That would just be perfect to round out the year with a Christmas skin for Barrack. It'd be so good, man. It'd be so good. Like, the turrets could be little presents, and obviously he's got the bushy beard and the rotund figure of Santa. <laughs> so... Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay, oh, let me buy some items. I forgot. Here we go. Get some Chronos, get some morale boost. 69% ult. Nice. Alright, let's head up here. And it looks like most of the enemy team is here as well. Uh, Eevee's ulting out. But she does die for it. You have no jump, so I'm just going to knock you around. You die. There we go. Alright, nice. We're getting some kills. We did lose our support, though. So we should be careful. I'm just going to put the shield down and hold point for now. And emote, because there's literally nothing else I can do. Let's go. Woo! Ash. <laughs> uh, Alright. Another shield. Let's go. I'm doing so good right now. Alright, I don't have a shield. Let's try and just chill here. They're coming to point. Alright, she got touched with that. Let's just knock you around. I sent her really high into the sky, didn't I? Alright, let's go for this to counter them. Massive stun. Actually, only hit one, because they just went around the corner. I'm kind of alone on points. They can't force me off. Let's just help Koga get some kills here. There we go. I killed Eevee. She got the ult off, though, which is really bad for me. I'm probably going to die. Uh, shoulder bash. No, it's not enough. I'm dead. Yago's ulting out, though. Azan's looking really low on point. And I think we're probably going to cap here. I mean, if we can get these kills, right? Those walls really did a good job of stalling, though. But he does end up dying. Ooh, Vivian's dead, but we are looking really low on point. Let me get up here and put a shield down. Here you go. Focus the Furia, she's dead. Focus the Eevee. There we go. And we cap. Nice. Are you playing Ash on point? Disgusting? Yes, I know. I asked for cultured champions, and this is what I get. <laughs> so, yeah. I do get to play with this skin, though. I have not really played with this skin. I didn't even own it until semi-recently. I think I got it out of the diamond chest or something. It's a pretty cool skin. I didn't realize the weapon was this detailed. I see why people like it. I mean, it's not my favorite aesthetic, but it's certainly well made. Alright, let me charge this up. And... I just have nobody near to get the shield reset off of. Okay, I'll cancel it. I'll try and do some damage up here to that Eevee. 
You better not push that hallway while you're low like that. Ooh, she's off the map. Nice grip. We know she's in there thanks to Yag. <laughs> Hello. I will kill you eventually. <laughs> it might take longer for me to kill Eevee than it does for her to kill me. But, uh... Don't question it, because we just pushed through. There we go, nice. Alright. Well, there's a bit of Point Tank Ash, a playstyle I have not played in a very long time. Right. And not one I would recommend in 2023. But it is still somewhat fun to play in casuals, I guess. And we were able to get 9 kills off that, 59,000 damage, and a metric crap ton of shielding. But, uh, wasn't the most fun tank I've played recently. Let's queue again, and let's play some Atlas up next. That's a real culture champion. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Omen's grip just instantly teleported my Yago ult target to me. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird bug. Yakaroth ult is just... <laughs> it's so clunky and weird and has so many buggy interactions. It's hard to get a Yakko ult that doesn't bug in some way. Because even if you don't notice it as Yag, sometimes it'll just make it so, like, once the target gets pulled directly to Yag, they just can't do damage to her, even though they can still shoot. And it's really, really weird. Is Pip cultured? Absolutely. Absolutely. The triple XP has ended, just why? There was one day left? No, there wasn't one day left. If you looked at the event yesterday, like, when I looked at it yesterday, it only had about five hours left. So... I think it was meant to be there for one week, which means from Wednesday last week until Wednesday this week. But Wednesday this week means that it ends on Wednesday this week. And so it's gone. <laughs> you don't have it anymore. Ah, yes. Seven is the most cultured champion. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dredge hasn't gotten a skin in a long time either. It is right. time. Do you miss parts and pieces with skins, or do you prefer hull? I would prefer if we could have the quality of skins that we got after parts and pieces, but with parts and pieces enabled. But the reason they stopped doing parts and pieces was so they could make higher quality skins in the first place. And if you look at skins that have come out after parts and pieces versus before parts and pieces, like, it, it, it's, it's very apparent that they have gotten a lot higher quality in terms of the models and the textures and all of that. Like, Genie Ying versus... What's the most recent Ying skin? Rezzed? You can clearly see a difference in the model and texture quality. And I think I'd rather have that over parts and pieces. But it'd be nice if we could have both, right? Okay, uh, let's do Temporal begin. Divide with... I sh I'm going to go a funny speed build, actually. Because uh, I have Beyond the Veil in this build, and it just seems like a funny... <laughs> Goofy, silly thing to do. So let's do that. Let's get some Kronos. And they have Stealthy again. They have people who are adjacent to Kana. <laughs> with those weird names. Oh boy. In fact, it might be Kana. With just four squares there. Great. Alright. Have a wall. Have some damage. Wow, I did almost no damage. Let's rewind you. Get a bit of reset. Send you away. What is Dredge doing back here? Crow's Nest player, okay. Well, he's dead for it, so that's good. Let me rewind you away. Was not able to save Nyx, though. Let's put the big wall up. Alright, let's rewind now. I'm going to get Insta Sun, though. Thought I could rewind behind him, but no, I just rewound myself directly into that stun, and I am dead. Okay, bit of an unlucky start so far. Got a kill, was able to do some damage, but... We're still on the back foot here. Hello, Dredge. I'm gonna have to ask you to go away. Thanks. Eevee is really aggressive right now. Alright, I'm gonna throw the wall this way to try and give us some cover to go to point. I just need to rush there right now, but I, I just die before actually touching point so we don't get over time. I was gonna try and touch and then quickly rewind myself, but... It's just not feasible. We are not getting kills right now. Uh, I can't get Chronos Dose either. Not even close. Bro, what are you doing? So far up. Oh, that missed. Okay. Jeez, he went so far away. You're not hitting me with that, sir. 
Where does this XS TV wanna be, dude? <laughs> Go away. Uh oh, rewind misses. He's gonna be back behind us though. Yeah. Fucking feared. I saw him put the portal down. I thought he went in it. Oh yeah, he did. There we go. Ah. How did I still die even though he was mid-rewind, bro? And he's still alive. Guys, can we please kill this man? He was one HP in our backline. Why is nobody looking at him? Please. Oh my gosh. Alright. Is he still back here? He is still back here. Yep, there he is. Let me just rewind all that garbage. I missed that. Ah, he's just jumping down. He actually was... Okay. That... Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dredge. Very cool. And he's dead. Yeah, alright. I didn't get the assist for that, though. That's kind of a scam, I feel. I throw this down to try and help. Um... It was not really that helpful, though. I mean, there's a rewind. There's some damage. Alright, let's rewind. Back here. Slightly better position, but I'm just getting stunlocked. I need some Rezo. Probably more than I need Chronos. I just have zero credits right now, though, because nothing is dying. I can't even stand on the objective because I'm playing Atlas here. Not exactly a point tank. Oh boy. Can we try and touch? No, we can't even touch. Okay. Great. Go away. I can't even, can't even rewind that, man. <sighs> Alright. Well, that's great. Way to ruin my Atlas game, Kana. And other random people who I have no idea who they are. Great. Oh. Uh. Alright, you need to stop spamming, man. If you spam that message one more time, that highlight message, I'm gonna time you out. I'm not inviting people to the party right now. You're just clogging up the chat. <clears throat> Uh, Three, just wanted to go funny speed two, build, man. <laughs> Can't even do that. Can't even have fun when Kana's around, man. Uh, well, let's try this again. Right, here's one of these. Oh, Clay is already dead. Bro didn't even get the chance to billow. Rewind you now. And I'm just gonna go for the ult. Oop. There we go. Kill her. Oh my gosh, she doesn't die. Why does she not die? Oh my god, and we're all just all dead. Okay, great. Great! Great! Uh, why, why does it always have to be Frog Isle, too? This map just blows. I cannot stand playing on this map, because it always goes like this. It's just never fun. Never, ever fun to play on this map. Go away. Stretch. I thought he was behind us. I guess he left. He'll be back. You're the Puma's there we go. Get some reset there. There's an Abyss Spike. I'm just going to tank it. We need to kill Fernando. Go away. There we go. Got him. Nice. Oh, Dredge is back. Great. There's some damage. Throw this wall out. Just to give myself some cover. But he's just not pushing me. Okay. I need to heal. I'm just gonna go back into spawn. Get me so too. Oop, she's low. She's so low. 22 damage! 22 damage! How does she not die? How much health does she have? Dude, I'm just getting scammed! What is this? And I'm going to die now. Great. How did she not die? She was actually one! And I hit her! Okay. This entire game is just BS. I don't even want to play this anymore. Just just let them win. Just let them win. This isn't even fun. Just let them win. Here. I'll put this wall up so you don't feed KDA. Just push it in. Just push it in. There we go. Good. Jeez, man. It's just not fun. It's just not fun. Stream snipers, man. Hmm. Alright, let's queue again.
and I want to try and get a better Atlas game. That match was so fast that we don't even have the Champion Quest back, I don't think, so... We'll just try and have a real game this time, instead of whatever the heck that was. And... Yeah, just forget that ever happened. Oh my gosh. It's the Double Sniper Rage again, except it's not even Double Sniper, it's just Toxic Stream Snipers. Like, what are you supposed to do when you get stream sniped by... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if that was a full squad. I mean, it probably wasn't a full squad, but at the very least, a three stack of stream snipers that are just being really Jeez. toxic. All right. Well, we got another redeem for Atlas, so I guess that works. Troll Atlas. Um, on Timbermill, though, that's going to be really rough. Let's go use the gold skin this time. Here we go. Yeah, we also got Andrew redeemed. All right. <laughs> My Andro is infamously very mid, but I guess we can do it anyways. We got Inara. We got Pip Koga Strix. Hopefully this will go well. Hopefully we don't get stream sniped again. But I don't know. <laughs> Considering it's my stream, I feel like I get stream sniped every match at this point. <laughs> sometimes it's toxic, sometimes it's not. Like, if it's just stealthy, it's not toxic. But if it's Kana's gang, it's very toxic. The end is not. Okay, well, I don't see a 7. I don't see an Eevee. I don't see really anything. I don't see a Dredge. So, I mean, I see triple support, though. That's going to be really rough. Should be fine, though. Please? Please? Oh, nope. It's them again. Great. 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 Ah, oh, they have, like, infinite sustain there. We need, uh, like, a million Wrecker and a million Rezil. So... Nothing. That is your objective, DPS. Buy Wrecker. I will buy Wrecker Rezil. I'll probably buy Rezil first, because I'm the tank. I'm going to get stunned more. But we need... We really, really need both of those items if we want to win this game. So I'm going to buy Rezil. That is... <laughs> wow, look! It's Dark Gifts and Spirits Chosen. Clearly, they're not going to switch into their damage play styles. And or have a Dark Gifts pocketed... Damage Damba? Oh, of course not. They, they would never do that. Oh, come on. You could at least go Scorch, right? You could at least you could at least be a Chad. Or at least somewhat of a Chad. You could have a Shred of Dignity. Oh, okay, great. Well, here we go. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah, they're both damaged. Yep, that's what I'm saying. You gotta buy Rezo. Good, we got Rack of Rezo. That's good, that's good. All right. And make sure we group up. I probably should have gone up top with these guys, but I can't, so I'll just go left instead. You know what? I'll be aggressive up here. I'll cut them off. Here we go. Have some damage. Rewind you. And I don't have a wall now, so I should be really careful. Yeah, I've been stunned. I've been stunned again, but that's why we have rewind. Just for me to get stunned again. That's what I'm talking about. You buy resale against these guys. Okay, he's gone. But Torvald is dead. All right, nice. Maybe pop down here, throw a wall down for Anara. There's some damage on Corvus. Double stun. Doesn't matter to me. Let's do that. Oop. I reload canceled, but I didn't get the rewind on him. Yeah, he's back. I don't know why you would teleport there when you're just going to die to me, but okay. Gross playing damage, Corvus. <laughs> I don't even think Kona can make damage Corvus be that successful. Especially on this map versus Atlas. Are you kidding me? Alright, you're not touching point. There we go. And I guess we've also confirmed that it's a three stack. Because... Yeah. The other two players there were not on their team last time. <laughs> Bro plays Corvus. You think Corvus players think? I mean, yeah, but damage Corvus is just not good. I don't care who you are. It's just not a good play style. Okay, that was weird. I, like, rewound and got stunned at the same frame. And, like, didn't go anywhere for a second. That was really, really confusing. It appears that Torvald is a bot, though. I would say I feel bad. But that was if I feel bad. Oh, ow. Okay. E, 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 Okay, he's dead. Nice. I don't know what Ying is doing on point. Whoa, hello. Is she a bot, too? Oh, that Pipple was just kind of bad. <laughs> I don't know if that was aimed at Fernando and if I screwed him over, or if that was aimed at Damba and he just missed. But either way, no chickens. Very unfortunate. 
Ah, the wall got in the way. Trust me. Oh, Domba's dead. That's good. Yeah, that Ying is also a bot. Wow. Why do they have two bots? Okay. Here's a wall. Leave the points. Thank you. All right. I remember Andrew's Corvus guide from like three years ago, and Andrew legit dedicated like five to ten minutes explaining how to play damage Corvus. Yeah, it was a lot more effective back then, partly because it was so new that it wasn't as easily understood how to play against it. But also, like, Corvus as a whole was way stronger when I made the Corvus guide, so you could get away with it. You shall not get a good match with Atlas today, apparently. Yeah. The thing is, I'm not even good at Atlas, so I don't know why we're getting such crappy matches with him. Like, on top of the fact that I'm already bad at him. Like, you would think, oh, just being bad at Atlas would be enough, but we have to compound on all this garbage. It's so lame. They just dislike Kana as well. Ah. <laughs> I see, I see. Try to keep Okay. Uh, let's head up here. They're going around left again. Alright, let me head on over here. Throw down a wall. Oop, they have the Ying ult. Alright, that's a bit risky. Ah, the wall. Okay. Around myself now. And let's put some people out of time if I can. Or not. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice. Oh, I'm always so bad at timing that. See, I'm bad at Atlas. I don't know how to. I don't know how to time it to even do the Erlenmeyer special. I want to do it like instantly. I don't want to give him a chance to slither away, but I just fail. Ah. Hello. Okay. Unstable Fisher moment. There we go. I don't know who Pip ulted, but we cap. That's all that matters. There we go. Gotcha. Kana's up top. Let me help Strix. No. No, I'm so sorry, Strix. I wasn't fast enough to save you. I can still kill him, though. There we go. Let's kill you. Corvus is going to be looking at Pip. Or not. Well, now he's up there with no movement. Kill him. You guys got that. Easy. Oh, he got his movement back. Okay. Did he buy Kronos? He did. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Bop. Bop. <laughs> Let me snipe these bots. Let's go. Okay. This is just sad. This is just sad, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, focus the real player. There's a rewind. I actually got silenced by the bot. Okay. Throw this wall out. Nope. I have a wall there. Come back. Ooh, I rerun him behind the other tree, so that shot missed. At least I killed him before I die. Let's get uh, some Wrecker now. Here we go. <sighs> Should I make Andrew play Tib? Enjoy the lockouts? I'm already enjoying the lockouts. I'm playing Atlas. Name me a character who has more lockouts than Atlas. I will wait. <laughs> they don't exist. They don't exist, man. Alright, we're going to ult now. And just try and block them from touching points. Y'all can focus the bots. Alright, it was a uh, a tool to keep Fernando up there shielding his team, right? And there we go. Again. Good. Tib has lockout on everything. Yeah, but Atlas has it worse, I feel. Okay. These last two matches were absolute garbage, so I am not going to... A reset party just yet. <laughs> These guys don't deserve that. Let's queue again. Um, let's throw in everything else as well so there's more of a chance to not get stream sniped by these idiots. And yeah, oh my gosh. I uh, My Andrew is so mid. I feel like today's not a good day to play him either, but we'll try it out anyways. Uh, here we go. Andro, Warder's Gate. And all right, what skin do we go? Steam Demon or Anniversary or I don't know, man. Avatar. Why are there so many Andro skins? I don't know how to make up my mind. Which which one do I go? I need a skin request. Somebody give me a skin request. 
The worst, ah, great, the worst one. What is even the worst one? Uh, oh yeah, right, this skin exists. This one's absolute garbage, so I'm gonna use this one. It just looks terrible. Like, it has really weird colors, and the design is all over the place. He's got, like, all sorts of weird geometry. I do not like this skin at all. Kana got the snipe again? I sure hope not. Battlesuit God Slayer, ready to launch. Well, it's a Damba, so probably. And if that Shaolin is stream sniping me as well, I'm actually gonna scream. Cause my Androxus is mid. You don't need to Okay, it's not the stream sniper good. <laughs> I was about to say, you do not need to stream snipe me with Shaolin to beat my Androxus. Please. Let me breathe. But it's four stream snipers, so I guess we're just going to die again. I cannot Great. Sleep in my grave. At what least I kind of counter Eevee, breeze. but I just don't know how good my Andro is going to be today. Uh, let's do Darkstalker. Uh, do I want the healing build? Probably. Because Pip's going to have enough on his hands healing both of our tanks versus that monstrous team cop. <laughs> I dare you to actually stick Gord. Do it. Play Damage Damba with a Gord. You have more self-sustain off it. There you go. That's, that's how you're going to play Damage Damba. Trust. Trust me. Do it, Kana. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, let's get some Rezil as well. 100%. Because that's Stun Damba, that's Furia, that's Nyx, that's Eviolt, that's Shaolin Cripple. That is infinite crowd control, so we will buy Rezil for it. And let's go ahead and head out. And yep, he's switched to Stun Damba because... Oh, you think he's going to listen and actually play Gord Damba like a man of culture? Well, a man of culture in this instance? Absolutely not. I feel bad saying that, because technically damage Damba is cultured, but it's Kana. So, like, that completely negates it. I'm sorry, I counter your champion really hard. <laughs> it's just, it's what I do. I'm so sorry. Alright, let's go up here. And get immediately stunned out of the sky and die. Alright, dash away. I need that Rezil 3, man. The second I can. Let's head up here. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, she got enough damage on me to 2 tap. Fair enough. Let's get more Rezil. Damage Damba was never culture. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Damba is cultured. Okay, whatever. Also, I hear that giggle. There she is. <laughs> what you doing, Stealthy? What you doing? Alright, there we go. And... Ooh, I'm getting sniped out of the sky by Shaw. Uh, I'm gonna try and get behind and damage those supports, but it's gonna be really tough. Ooh, alright, nice. I'm just gonna stand here in reversal. I blocked some damage, and she does get the kill. Oh, crap. What's he doing here? Where was one? There we go. Oh, my gosh. Come here. Please. Or don't. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Ah, I missed the weapon shot. Okay. <laughs> you were way too close to me. Alright. Let's just head up here. Maybe try some funnies. Wait for him to reappear. Light him up. Absolutely miss every shot. And die. Okay. <laughs> Gord is just a really bad deal. Oh yeah, don't play Gord Damba. Gord Damba is actually bad. Like, don't do it. The only reason I can see doing that is if you want to play Damba on controller. But at that point, why are you trying to play Damba on controller? He's just not good on controller. I'm sorry, man. That's why every other support since Damba has had auto in. It's for controller players. And I don't think they'll ever release another support who doesn't have some form of auto aim or AoE deal. Uh, the days of single target aimed heals like Damba and Ying are gone. You can't resist me. Okay. Hello. Ah. 
There are a lot of them up here. I should not be up here by myself, so I'm going to back away. Maybe come over here and do some damage. And by that, I mean miss Stealthy a bunch. I don't know if he's going to try and come this way, or if he's... Ah, uh, he just went back up mid. Okay. Yeah, that's just not worth my time. Let's go back around here. We know Fury is up here. And Damba. Okay. Reversal. Got the pit potion, thankfully. That's good. Oh, I headshot him. But he just has a lot of DR or something, and I'm dead. Is he running DR card? He is. Okay, so he's just, like, pocketing Furia. And then that's giving him, like, a bunch of sustain. I see. Oh, boy. I'm just getting 1v2 in there as well. That's really unfortunate. I don't know why Yag tried to ult that, considering she's in front of the entire enemy team, but you do. Where's Evie? I want to fight her again. There she is. Oh my gosh, stop stunning me. I'm dead! Are you kidding me? In slow mo. Great. Uh, my next item immediately shall be Haven, because they just have too much damage on their team. What's wrong with Dombo and Controller? Well, he doesn't get aim assist on his teammates, so it's really freaking hard to actually heal your team with him. Compared to literally any other support. And then he's also a projectile, which works against aim assist. His aim assist will just try and aim you directly to the enemies. Whereas with projectiles, you need to be aiming where they're going. And it's very hard to do that with aim assist. And so you could turn aim assist off, but then it's just really hard to aim compared to keyboard. And so it's like, no matter which way you cut it, it's just not a good champion to play on controller compared to most of the other available options. Hello. Okay, he dropped. There we go. Let's finish him off. And it sounds like the rest of them are on the right. I should not push them by myself. Instead, I should head over here and 1v1 EB because that would be really fun. Come here, EB. Where is she going, actually? I don't know. Looks like she just went back with the rest of her team. Okay, fair enough. And Betty just got a double kill. Absolutely fat. Love to see it. I kind of just denied her quad, didn't I? I realized that a little bit too late. That That's my fault. I'm so sorry. I was just... I wanted to help. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's head up here. And... It's a zoning ult. It's a zoning ult. Alright, we have zoned them off successfully. Let's go. That was absolutely not successful, but we don't talk about it. Evie's dead. That's good for us. Ooh, cripple. Nice chicken. We do finish that. Alright, excellent. Good thing she doesn't have Rezil. Because that was really slow. And there we go, we actually cap. Nice. Oh, I dashed in time. She'll be back up here, though. Ooh, and she's gone. And Nyx is up here. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's be careful. Whew. Just get out of dodge for now. There we go, we're fine. Everything is fine. Zamba's low back there. I think he got cherished, though. Ooh, no, he's still low. That was so sloppy, but we got him. That's all that matters. Did he seriously miss that? Bro, she doesn't have a movement ability. You could just punt her. Just send her a million miles away. Just right up there. There you go. Okay. The Damba, whoever it is, is abusing a cheat that allows them to have a private account. Oh, really? I should check that out. Because if that's the case, we need to report them. You are not allowed to have private accounts anymore. Oop, I reversaled it. I got stunned out of the reversal, though. Uh-oh. Okay. I missed. She's back, though. There we go. We got her. Run away! Woo! Alright, we got away with the deed. Let's go. Oh, okay. I thought he was actually pushing this way. He wasn't. It's one shot. There's two shots. <laughs> Not gonna do any damage at this range, though. Alright, let's head up here. Uh, 
Oh boy. Let me just heal myself real quick. We should be fine. Let's push in with Yag, and there's a lot of damage. We finished Shaw. I die for it, but I'll take that trade. Except Yag dies as well, so that was not worth it. You can't resist. And Eevee should be fine. Unfortunately, let's get more Haven. They are really pushing us back right now, but there is technically a possibility that we push it if we group up here and get a few kills. So let me try it out. Alright, Eevee just got cherished. You jolt. Nice, we get Fury off that. That is awesome. And we killed Damba. Let's go. Nyx should die as well. I'm not even going to focus that because my team's on it. He was one. Alright, I just need a reversal. We totally pushed this through. There we go. Nice job, guys. That was a really huge pit bolt. Good teamwork. What's even the point of private accounts in this game? Hiding stats. Yeah, basically. And also, private accounts, when you would go into your history, would not show the name. You could still report them, but it generally made it harder to contact them or otherwise report them or anything like that. The Damba and Fury have private accounts. Oh. Okay, so we should probably report them then. I mean, are you guys like using the bots to try and look that up? Yeah, hiding Two, stats, yeah. Like, one. there are bots that you can use that use the Paladin's API to show you different stats. I have two of them on my Discord server, the Ito bot and the Paladin's Assistant bot. And if you have a private account, those bots are not allowed to look up any of your information. And private accounts don't exist anymore, or at least they're not supposed to unless you are a cheater, which these guys are cheaters, so... Or at least that's what Chad is claiming, because they have private accounts. That was the sloppiest aim right there. I am so sorry you had to witness that. Really lazy aim. But yeah, like, if I wanted to look up their KDA, and they have a private account, like, I could not look that up. Like, their overall Damba KDA or something like that, for example. It's interesting to me that that feature is still in the game, but the option has been disabled. I guess they're, they never really remove stuff. That's why you're allowed to use, or not allowed, me. but that's why some people were able to, with some cheats, enable certain skins that have been disabled many years ago, like the recolors of characters like Bomb King and Leon. Oh boy. There we go, got Nyx. Let me reversal this. Betty ki kills the Eevee, and we do manage to come out victorious. Let's go. That didn't go as badly as I thought it would, surprisingly. Alright, let me take a look. I've been pinged twice. Uh, apparently. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I see. Okay, someone pinged me with a screenshot of their accounts being private. I want to check myself in my own bot, though. Uh, actually, Erlmeyer's on it, too. Okay, here we go. Look at, look at this. This is what it looks like when someone has a private account and you try and look them up in a bot. They just have asterisks. Because they're private, right? So, like, if I were to do Paladin's match to get my most recent match and then have Itobot spit out the names. Toggle player names? Yeah, look at that. Their names and their account IDs are just gone. They, they aren't there. Okay, we were reporting both of these guys for using private accounts. Uh, here we go. Report. Using private account. Or actually, cheating in private account when that feature has been disabled. There we go, and that was the Furia, right? Let me double check. Uh, yeah, it was the Furia, okay. Uh, da da da. Cheating in private account when that feature feature has been disabled. There we go. All right. Lovely report. <sighs> GG good try in post game. Nah. Oh yeah. <laughs> GG good try. I mean we won, so I don't know. Ah, <sighs> great. That's so much fun. I love it so much. Ah. <sighs>
in-game reports are pointless. I'm going to contact hi -res directly. It would be a great time for Cryptic to just pop in the stream right now. You know, that's all I'm saying. Can we, can we summon Cryptic? Here we go. That works, right? Please? Command? Right? <laughs> right? Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and swap party now, since it has been an hour. So if you want to join, say your name in the chat. We will invite Wiro, Zuna84, as well as Erlenmeyer, and Verboys. Hello? Game? Uh-oh. Did this person's name just break my game? Um. Oh. Okay. Let me try it again. Okay, their name just does not work. Alright. In that case, let's try it's A1F13EXE. That name doesn't work either. Have I broken the party system? Can I Q? I can queue. Well, I just cannot invite people now. Um. Okay. I don't have a full party either. That's. That's really weird. Um. Okay. You know what? I guess we're four stack until that gets fixed. Maybe I can. Uh, Invite someone after this next match? Possibly? Yeah, it's just not pulling up the, like, search function anymore. Wow. That is weird. I have never had a name break the game like that. Anyways, it's bizarre. We don't have any champion requests, so I'm playing Makoa. Ha! There we go. Restart game? I mean, I could, but I don't wanna. That sounds lame. We got Ray on this map as well. That's very spicy. Ray on Bazaar. Love to see it. I think that God of Bounce on Betty is heavily underrated, even more so now with Fiery Disposition being nerfed. They shall find no is that what you were playing last match? That's interesting. I just don't like that it nerfs your base movement speed. I feel like that's just so unnecessary. I mean, I get that she's overweight, but that's a bit ridiculous, Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Physically nerfing her movement speed for it? Like, what What are you doing, man? That's... that's okay. <laughs> to be honest, the movement speed isn't even that bad. It's just annoying, though. As someone who likes movement speed, I really just don't to like that, you know? know life itself is on your side. Come okay, uh, let's do... Oh, oh, I don't know. Blood. Leviathan? Heck yeah, we play Leviathan out here. We're going off tank. And let's get some... Ooh, we have Ray. We're playing Leviathan. You already know. We're going morale boost. Like growing another fan, this should be this great. Make me all the, more <sighs> the way this skin rides the horse makes me laugh begin. every time. Oh, yeah. Do I still have the speeder? I have Brody. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's rotated like 90 degrees to the left. It's so weird. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, they have a Mercy Kill Tyra. Interesting. With Veteran as well. But the rest of it is pretty typical. Okay. Well, let's go in. Hello. Hey, it's your turn to be hooked now. I mean, you're not playing 7, and I hooked you in the last Makoa match, but now you're playing DPS, so it's just funnier, right? Ooh, nice. He's already dead. Good. Hello. Ow. I am in such a bad position. I got the envelope, I think, but Tyro just cuts through that, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Well, Meyer is dead. Wow. That's a lot of damage. BK is dead. Alright, we need to really fall back right now. I'm gonna try and help Ray. Oop, you're dead. Okay, let's hook you. Problem is, I do not have hook for the reversal. Alright, let me shield this. We'll just walk it back. 
stay safe, Ray, please. Oh, well. Sir. Oh, I put the shield up. Okay. No hook for me. We are not going to touch point. I'm just going to die. Oh my gosh, the damage. Alright, so got some healing. But yeah, this is looking pretty bad right now. Yoink! There we go. Forced him to run away. I feel so bad that I just, like... I'm hitting so many hooks recently with Mako, but they just do not get confirmed as kills, because I'm just always lacking damage. I don't have enough damage to kill people with Makoa, but it seems like my team isn't following up either. In a lot of cases when I hook. It is what it is. Alright. Uh, let's hope Meyer lives. He rewound. That's good. Oh, the hook missed. Alright. It's fine. I got another, but he dashed. Okay. Let's just shell spin in. Resulting. I should have been faster than him, but I still couldn't escape it in time. Yeah, he is adrenaline junkie. Okay, weird. Does he have nimble? No, he doesn't even have nimble. Okay, interesting. I guess that 25% movement speed wasn't good enough. It's a good thing I had about 10,000 HP, otherwise I would have died. Right, let me just shield this. Give you guys some cover. Does she have Wrecker? No. I just forgot how bad the base shield is with Makoa. Yoink! Hello! <laughs> I should really prioritize hooking Tyra more, because if I get her in a bad position, it's especially bad for her, because she just can't get away. I'm dead. Oh, man. We get more boost, too. It really feels like we are lacking on damage right now, though. I'm hooking things, but they just are not dying. <sighs> I'm sorry for the request. Oh, we got everywhere at once, Caspian? Why would you do that? I'm asking for cultured champions! Oh, I just... Okay. Just got hooked the second I leave spawn. I literally pressed shield, too, but he grabbed me the split second I peeked. He must have been looking to grab somebody else, and I just walked in front of it, because... Yeah. It's just a bit unfortunate. Okay. Oh, I was not able to shield you, either. I'm just so late. And I got void gripped the second I shell spanned, so my shell spans just got crapped on, too. I'm just... I am the most unlucky Makoa player right now. <laughs> I get con ulted the second I leave spawn peek the corner, and then I'm too slow to shield Erlmeyer, and then I try and dash, and I get void grip the instant my dash goes off, and so I go nowhere, and then I die to Tyra. That's really unlucky. Andrew four stacks instead of five stacks and is losing. Palacord going crazy. Uh, Andrew's bad. He needs a five stack. If he has even one random player on the team, he's so trash that he can't win, huh? <laughs> uh, Gotta love Palacord, right? <laughs> yes, one game is an indication that I am bad. Five, four, three, two, ah. one. Also, ignore the fact that last match I went against three stream snipers as Androxus, a flank I don't even play that much, and I won. Well, I say I don't play him that much. I'm level 90 with him, but that's accrued over six years, and I don't play him, like, at all recently, so, you know, it counts. Alright. Ah, that was just way too sloppy. I might need to ult here because I am way too low and... Ooh, yeah, alright. Just not enough healing right now. I can hook you, but sadly, she just dies. I can kill Koga, but I'm going to die as well. DK is ulting out all by himself. I'm not sure why, but he got the Genos. He's dead, though. Oh, okay. <sighs> You got carried for real for real? I got top kills! <laughs> what do you mean? Ah. Okay. Uh, we are not going to touch point again. Okay. Ugh, the damage diff is really apparent this match. We are lacking so hard on kills. Maybe that's gonna hit me. I'm just dead. Oh, thank you for heals. Right, we do barely lift that for now. Oh my gosh, he ults me again. I'm dead. Alright. There's ah! my damage, man. Tyra Khan and Andra are all on such massive streaks. But every time I look at them, they're full health. Oh, and I can't even hook him. He just put his shield up. That's so unlucky. 
There we go. Koga's dead. That's good. Questionator's dead. Hey, we're finally getting kills. Let's go. Stop it. There we go. Nice. Hey, kills finally happened. Maybe we can win after all. Let's push up here. This is about as far as we want to push up, though. Oop. Sir, please. Yeah, there's one shot. There's another shot. There's fire, though, so I want to back off. I don't want to die. Or take too much unnecessary damage. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, just use that wall. There's a hook. That's huge. Come here. There we go. Got him. And let's cancel and shield. Okay, we're fine. Good, good, good. Huge. Come here, Khan. Oop, there's one shot on the questionator. <laughs> I hit that hook. Let's go. <laughs> Stunder in place for the Wiro. I'll take that. That was just, uh... That was kind of more of a trick shot than it was practical, but I'll take it. Come here. Oh, Alright. Yep, Alright. <laughs> Great. Uh, let me just shield this. I need to get out of here right now. Hero. Don't like your positioning. Let me hook that Koga for you. There we go. Force some dashes out of him. Uh, nice rewind, but Atlas is dead now. I just need to survive long enough to get my shield up. DK died to that. That's really bad. Let's keep walking it back, Ray. Oh, the hook just barely missed. Unlucky. Ooh. Okay. I'll just tank that. Can we shield here? Oop, okay. And hook. There we go. You pop. That's nice. Um, I might need to ult. Yeah, I'm gonna ult. Okay. You just you just walk off point, Con? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. I thought they were actually going to contest. You know, I thought I thought maybe they were gonna just, just put up a little bit more of a fight. Maybe not leave the point. You know. Okay. <sighs> Intimidation ult. Yeah, I scared him off the point. It was a Damba fear. <laughs> It's fine. We got morale boost three. Um, after that, we definitely want some haven. They have a lot of hit scans. Here we go. Would you prefer playing everywhere at once, Caspian or Leon's shield Khan? Leon's shield Khan just because Khan is better, and in my opinion, a bit more enjoyable. Behind us. Oh, I was too distracted by the VGS, but I'm just going to instantly pop it. All right. Classic. They were not, in fact, behind us, chat. They were in front of us, and they killed me. Now they're behind us. There you go. But BK's dead. Okay. Just the three of us. Let's group up. I've been dismounted. Okay. There's some damage. Push up here and see if I can get a hook. Nice. Ooh, I just missed that, though. Alright. She's getting put out of time. earlmyra has got that. Nice, she just pops. Let's see. Oh, he is really going far behind us. Alright, come here. Alright, he's trying to dash away. I missed. Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, there we go, finished it. <laughs> I was not going to let him steal that assist from me. <laughs> it, it was long enough that I think I might not have gotten the assist if I didn't finish him there. Con, you are just going to die. There's some damage. He dies. And we do manage to cap here, I think. There we go. Lock that down. Nice. There's some damage. Hard to hit shots at this range. There's another. Shield it. Oops, nice rewind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, that's all of his energy down. That's fun. Okay, Oop, there he is. Nice, he's dead. I just want to go in. Yoink! Out of position. 
bro. She's just so tanky. And there's a Genozolt. Wow, he actually got me. Okay. Fine. How much EHP does she have? She has Veteran 3, plus Health Card 5, plus Rejuve 2, plus Rezil. And then she's got 20% after Nade Launcher. And she's got Inherent Lifesteal. That's kind of insane. She is actually a tank. Last item she needs is just some Haven, and she'll be unstoppable. Ooh, that missed the Koga. Oh, come on! Stop it! There are other teammates on my team. You can hold Atlas once, please. Somebody else besides me? I just... This is cyberbullying. And we are all dead. Okay, let's hard reset. Wero is dead as well. Okay, we really need to group up. Do you have any tips for BK? Do I? Do oh. I? Do I have any tips for BK? The level 300 almost BK. Do, do I have any tips? Of course I have tips for BK. What kind of question is that? I actually, I do have a few videos on the channel about that. If you just watch my BK videos, usually I... Uh, throw in a few tips here and there. Um, especially when it comes to, like, some of the more recent Royal Subjects tech, I would recommend watching some of my videos where I just, like, fly around with that. But also, I made a video. It actually wasn't super popular, but it was, like, a sort of impromptu, just on-twitch guide for BK. And I turned it into a video, and it was just, like, BK Tips of 2023 or so something like that. Very generic name. But... That is also a good resource for you. Kind of updated. I don't have a full proper BK guide yet for 2023, but uh, maybe eventually I'll make one. Maybe in 2024, eventually, <laughs> sometime, at some point, maybe. And back I come till my will be done. You can play everywhere at once, Caspian or Snow Globe Eevee. I know it's hard to decide, but I'll let you have the choice. Oh boy, wow, that's such a hard choice. I'll pick. Uh, I'll pick, I'll pick Kasum. <clears throat> I'll pick Eevee. Yes. Monthly BK guide win. Okay, we don't need monthly BK guides. Because he doesn't change month to month. <laughs> <laughs> Clipped sending to Palacord. No! It's Grover. My career is over. I just ended my entire Paladin's career live on Twitch in 1080p. Oh no. Ultimate is ready. Step you should... into the light. Hello? Okay. You should have a stream where you... everyone you play with has to play a champ of chat's choice. See, that's an interesting idea, but there's no way I can make that actually happen reliably because people tend not to be cooperative. I would have to do it with like four other streamers. <laughs> uh oh. I'm really low. I might have an ult here. I appreciate those heals. Ah, you put up the shield. Okay. We do this. Hook reset. Oh, he dodged it. Okay. New plan. Die, because the rest of my team died. Okay. <laughs> Everyone just fell over. I've been playing Chain Reaction. I'll watch your vid to try and learn Royal Subjects. Yeah, Royal Subjects is really, really fun. If you're not playing it, you should be. It's not like Old Royal Subjects, where Old Royal Subjects was just objectively better, because there are some circumstances where Chain Reaction is helpful. Mainly versus tanks. It's it's a tank buster talent. Okay. But Royal Subjects on more open maps is just such a good choice. Like if you're not playing Royal Subjects on Serpent Beach, what are you doing? <laughs> That's you're just denying yourself of fun. It's so much more fun that way. But yeah. Like chain is something I would mostly recommend against tanks who don't have too much of an issue with barriers, right? Because some tanks like Fernando and Khan, it's just, you know, it might be better to go another talent. In the olden days, you would just go Royal Subjects because you would just spam above the shield easier. You can still spam above the shield with some of those characters. Um, but, like, you know, you're not going to get much value out of Chain Reaction there, whereas the extra Poppy Bomb will help you out in more circumstances. So against characters like that, I would still recommend Royals. But against, like, Rom, obviously chain is very good it can be good against anara although anara is just <laughs> she's just a titan so you know it's tough to take her down regardless go royal subjects for ramen for ramen yago that is not what i said spark <laughs> and also don't play accelerant because it just gets hard countered by rezil so you know 
Okay, uh, that was a very painful match. Let me see if I can invite someone now. Uh, can I just get a name in the chat and we'll see if this works? You dods. Okay, my party is just broken. What if I just, like, hard reset? Like, if I leave the party? No, it's just broken. Okay, I'm gonna actually restart my game. I thought playing a match would fix it. It's just hard bugged. So... Yay! Good job, Paladins. You are so good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and the easy anti-cheat service. Now asking me All if right. it'll let me make changes to my device twice every time I launch the game. Woo. Drinking game. Take a shot every time the party system breaks. Oh, no! I remember when I first started BK, I took your grumpy deck, and you said in your video, the point is to make space so that the talent is bad. Ah, the old BK guide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Grumpy Bomb does help with that. Something you also shouldn't, like... Right, I guess something you should pay attention to is sometimes it's a bad idea to throw the Grumpy out because you just need to stick more people. Like, in my last BK video, there was a clear-cut example of this where I had a situation where I needed to help on the defense, and I threw the Grumpy Bomb out, and because that locked me out of my other abilities, I just died. And I didn't do anything, when I could have instead maybe thrown three bombs before I died, and would have done a lot more impact that way. So, you want to be careful not to throw Grumpy Bomb in bad situations where sticky bombs are more necessary. Mainly it's like, in situations where you have DPS that are going to be like right on top of you, you don't have time to throw out the Grumpy Bomb. But lobbing it on the points, or lobbing it towards choke points, is generally a good idea. Okay, uh, let's see. We need to reinvite these guys. So Ozuna, Meyer, and Weira, right? And then we have one more space in the party. So let me try and invite Udods again, I believe it was. Yes. Here we go. There we go. Yay! The game works! Let's go! Alright, let's queue. That's my problem, I panic and try to Grumpy Bomb flanks. Right. Yeah, that is a no-no. You just want to spam stickies at them. Bomb King is just such a cool champion, because there is quite a decent amount of skillful things you can do with him. And... But also, at the same time, he gets a lot easier once you've got a bit of practice under your belt. More so than I would argue for someone like Eevee. Because... Like, once you get the timings down and the aiming down with his sticky bombs, you can kind of just play him on autopilot. At least I feel like I can do that. If it's not a super serious game. But he is so much fun. There is a reason I've gotten him to almost level 300. He is 292, almost 293 right now. We are closing in. I could have done a BK to level 300 stream, but I was a little bit late on the triple XP. Didn't think of the idea until it was too late, and it doesn't even really matter anyways. You should 1v1 viewers for a video idea on stream, of course. Would be kind of dope. Uh, I've had that thought before. I think I've even done something similar before. But a lot of the times it's just kind of mismatched. Like, I'll do a 1v1 on stream, and it'll just be 10 minutes of, like, just stomping. <laughs> It's not as engaging of a content idea for, like, a full stream as you might think, you know? And even the most recent 1v1 I did with Nico, I uploaded that to YouTube, but the video did terribly. Performed awful. Got, like, 2,000 views. <laughs> like, yeah, 1v1ing with, like, a randomizer or jam requests might make it a bit more interesting, but still... Yeah, we do need to get that 7 1v1 going, but other than that, like, 1v1s just aren't really something I'm that interested in doing on stream. Yeah, and some 1v1s are lame, too. Like, if we were to do a randomizer, we get a ROM 1v1, it's just boring. Or a Drogo's 1v1. Like, the real interesting 1v1s are flank 1v1s. You know, an EV 1v1, or Maeve, or Andro. Or some DPS, like Bomb King. But otherwise, it's just like, oh, what? We're gonna do a Genos 1v1? Okay. <sighs> Great. That's fun. Let's go. Woo! Do your lowest level champ or something? 
okay, but like... <laughs> uh, if I do my lowest level champion versus the average person's lowest level champion, I'm going to win that almost every time, because I've played every character to level 50. <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, let's get this done. Everywhere it wants Caspian. And then after that, we gotta play Shaolin. Oh boy. Why am I playing so much Shaolin recently? Please. Guys. What the heck? Hmm. Put the fun champs on the Wheel of Fortune and spin. <laughs> nah. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. I told you you could play <laughs> Eevee. Were you serious? I thought you were joking. How do you feel about Caspian in terms of viability? Uh, he is literally the worst flank in the game right now. <laughs> if, you, if you look at statistics, it's not good for him. Obviously, he can pub stomp because every flank can pub stomp. Even Sky, when she was really bad, could pub stomp. But at a serious level, he is just a glass cannon who has one of the worst movement abilities in the flank class, and short range, and almost no defenses. So it doesn't work out too well for him. Like, even Sky these days, she has insane movement speed and invisibility, and that offers her, I would say, a little bit more protection than it does Caspian. Like, it's actually kind of a struggle to predict shots against Sky when she's got the, what is it, 40% movement speed on Smoke Bomb plus 30% from the passive? Plus even Nimble? <laughs> it, it, it's a lot harder to do that than it was in years past, so that does help her. Caspian, of course, does have a 60% movement speed card, but he's not invisible, so <laughs> it's a lot easier to hit him than it is Sky doing that. Worst flank is Moji? Nah, she's not the worst. The field of not compared against, to Caspian, I wouldn't say. I, I Might be biased as a, uh, a newfound Moji main, of course, if you, <laughs> if you remember that stupid video. But, uh... <laughs> uh yeah, she has Magic Barrier, at least. If she didn't have Magic Barrier, yeah, she would be the worst. But Magic Barrier is kind of a big deal. Like, that is a really helpful tool for survivability. Total damage immunity, crowd control, satisfaction immunity, and it also allows her to move around and gives her a, three one th a free 1,000 damage mark if someone hits her during it. Like, that's actually pretty helpful. She has her issues as well of needing sustained line of sight, being really large, being really bulky, having terrible mobility, but... She also has good sustain cards, I find. Like, I've made a new build for her that just prioritizes sustain. With, like, extra healing when low, and max health, and then some movement speed. That's pretty good. Ow, 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 Ah! Okay. <laughs> Zuna. Thank you, Zuna. I only had up here. I have a lot of movement abilities, so I should really prioritize using them more. I need to remember that with this talent, if I dash through somebody, I get stacks. So... It is something to pay attention to. Oh boy, they are really, really grouped up back there. I'll just dash to uh, hit the element of surprise and then eat a two second cripple for breakfast. That's great. I missed the stun, but you should be dead. And there we go. I'll take that for the double. Miss a bunch of shots. Hello. Ooh, the sword was not able to kill them. Okay, here's some Haven. Let me just go up here. There's no shot I can make this dash, right? Actually, no, I got this. There we go. Yummy damage. I missed that on Saris, though, so she lives. Okay. There we go, nice. I hear a Shaw. Ooh, the stun projectile just killed him. Nice. Let's run up here. Ooh, I got some healing from Moji. Nice, thank you. Ooh, hello. Okay, nice. Let's head around here. Yep, there's Shaw. He didn't stand much of a chance. Moji after hearing him say being very large. I mean, she is very large. She has a tank-sized hitbox, but with a flank-sized health pool. That's just the truth. And it's all Poli's fault. Like, default Moji without her mounts would be the uh, smallest character in the game. But, you know, it's just like Ruckus, right? 
you know, she... Wait, how do I take that kill? Okay. But yeah, that, that mount really adds a lot of beef to her hitbox, and it makes her especially susceptible to taking damage. And when you don't have a lot of health to work with compared to characters of similar girth, it's, uh, it's rough. Like, you know, Moji versus Khan, right? I like to compare those characters because I think they're very similar. The Khan has a similar size health, po uh, health pool, but he also has a shield with that basically doubles his uh, effective hit points. He has a battle shot for immunity, just like Moji's magic barrier. But then he also has double the health pool of her. And then some if you run health card. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, it's just uh, a bit tough. Ooh, he got healed. But we win. Alright, there we go. Nice. Who's the smallest character right now? Is it Pip? Or am I forgetting somebody? Willow? Uh, I don't think Willow. Because she has the wings that add a lot to the uh, width of her uh, uh, hitbox. <laughs> Brain itchy. Moji kind of just carried there. Nice. Honestly, it'd probably be Eevee. Like, she is really small. Uh, or maybe Maeve. Maeve is also really small. There's Eevee, Maeve, uh, and then, yeah, Pip is pretty small, too. He's got the largest head, but otherwise is pretty small. Oh, yeah, and Talus. Can't forget Talus. He's probably the shortest character in the game. I feel really, really short when I play him. And I play Eevee a lot, and she's short. And I feel even shorter when I play Talus. So, might be this guy. Yeah, Barrack is short, but he is really wide. So, like, you know, he's not the smallest hitbox in the game. Definitely not. Rockus would be the smallest character without Bolt, but he has Bolt, so we have to consider that. Kasumi's small? Oh yeah, she exists. Where is Kasumi? There she is. Kasumi. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty small, but she's also taller because she floats. Kasumi. And also that hat adds a lot. I don't think she's the smallest. <laughs> Makoa, ah oh, yes. No, he's not the smallest. He's the same as Barrack. He's really wide. Alright, here we go. I'm surprised that, like, they added Navi back, but they didn't add Burrito as a direct purchase option. I wish I could use this skin. It's pretty cool. But I can't, so... Put the bag on. Here we go. Uh, let's get my stuff out. It's too early to use the Jolly Longbow, so we'll save that for Christmas. We'll save that for after Halloween. Uh, should be good. There we go. Skin boost burrito. Can you skin boost it? I'll try it out. Oh, you can! Okay, we I didn't know that. Fight oh, together. Hey, there we go. Nice. And they have... Oh, boy. You're the Puma's it's not Kana again, is it? I see a Damba. Okay, it's not. I was like, Damba Atlas Torvald. That smells like a stream snipe. It's not. <laughs> Unless that's Kana's 15th alt account. It, it's not. He's wearing Navi, though, so, you know. Thank you for the Prime sub, by the way. I appreciate that. It's dark in Serpent Beach. You need your sunglasses, of course. Yeah. I wear my sunglasses at night. Or something. I don't know. <sighs> oh, who's not loading in? Are they on my our team? Journey leads me oh, no, we're fine. Okay, good. So Recurve. Definitely going to do that. And, okay, so I probably need Wrecker, but first and foremost, I need Rezil. Uh, Wero's already got the same idea. Meyer should buy Rezil. That's Atlas, Damba, Torvald, so not buying Rezil here is just foolish. Yo. You can't get back in! <laughs> nice, let's dance on him. When people gift subs, do they pay for other people to be subscribed to you? Is that how it works? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, supporting the streamer and being generous and allowing other people to sub as well. It's actually pretty wholesome. No, I haven't tried out Mortal Kombat 1. Fighting games are not my style. To me, they just devolve into button mashing. Not a super huge fan. <laughs> That's dope, someone trying to gift me? Ayo? <laughs> Anyone got a gifty for a uh, Fabri? Cabron? I hope I didn't say something bad there. I don't know. Ugh. 
I don't know what that name means. We'll just roll with it. Ah. Oh boy. Right, thank you for that heal. I'm feeling a bit scared. Let's lighten up this guy. I probably should be paying more attention to Atlas. Oh, they shot me at the same time. I just popped. All right. Oh. Uh, kind of on the back foot again. I feel like we're always on the back foot when we play Paladins these days. Struggling to capture points. I heard Tiberius. Oh, he's back here, isn't he? Okay. Let me help out with that. Oh, he's up top. I almost died trying to peek that. Let's get some healing, but our healer's dead, so let's just chill here. Yeah, he's totally pushing around. I whiffed. He is 1 HP. Try and listen and hear if he jumps. Oh, I didn't play any sound effect. Okay, well. He's got scammed by the audio in this game. Love to see it. Ooh, he is nailing me. Missed that. Luckily, it didn't feed reversal, though. And I can't shoot him, so let's just go down here. I did 600 damage and died. Yay! And we lose. Okay. Technically, Paladins is a button mash game. No, it's not. What? Every game is a button mash game if you don't try it all. I, okay. But fighting games are actually just spam a bunch of buttons and punch the enemy to death, and then I win somehow. So. Like, I feel like it's that with Mortal Kombat, with Smash. Wow, did I get three tapped? No, four tapped. Okay. Just very accurate. And I am not very accurate because I play freaking Shaolin. Uh, I feel like. <laughs> you know how Z1 asked me how I can aim with BK but not Shaolin? I feel like the same goes for my hooks. I hit most of my hooks in the last Makoa video. I hit a lot of hooks today. Cannot hit Shaolin shots, though. Something's just wrong with me. I don't know, chat. Alright, well, there we go. He was moving very predictably. Appreciate that. Oh, I hit the reversal. Okay. Ah, the wall got in the way, trust me. Huge damage. Let me cripple you. Nice vantage point up here. We're just going to spam down. Stinking wall's in the way, though. Oop. Just jumping around. There's a thousand. Just whittling away at Thorvald. The recharge, though. Oh, he got Corvus. Okay. This is quite bad. Um, yeah. Just not able to get kills. Doing a lot of damage, but they're so tanky. We must press on. Yes, I have two screens. I have this screen, and then I have the screen where I read chat. I think y'all need to reload, not seeing two screens. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm confused. Capture point spawning in 15 okay. seconds. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Let's uh let's play some let's, let's play some paladin. Let's get some more reason. Here we go. Yay. It's gone now? Three, what are you talking about? Bro's waffling about something. Okay, okay. Alright, here we go. Wow, Nando AFK. Like oh, really Nando's good. Ah, great. That's my excuse for losing this game. Let's go! See, I'm not bad at Shaolin. I'm just handicapped by my teammates, obviously. I, I could never, ever be bad at Sha Sha uh, Shaolin, you know? Yeah, never. Right? Yo, nice one, Meyer. Love to see it. Now, if only I could protect you from the Sha or uh, the Andro. If I could protect you from the bad Shaolin on your team. Hey, Diffed, let's go. And then die to Damba. Nice. That wall was pushing you hard. Yeah, I know, right? He's so easy, how could you ever be bad at Shaolin? I don't know. I I am an expert at playing the hardest character in the game, but I can't play Shaolin. I, listen, man, I don't know how I work. Alright, there we go. Tiberius Ult. Nobody cares, bro. You're cringe. Do I miss? Ooh, I almost had that. But I didn't, and that's what matters. 
<sighs> you know what? I'll push left. Sneak behind them. Oh, no, Andro over here. You know what? I'll spam arrows at Torvald. Yeah, you got that, Moji. You got that. I certainly don't. Oh, boy. Hardest character Eevee, by the way. Yes. And I also play BK. I can nail people with Makoa hooks left and right. I mean, watch today's video for that. But nope, nope, no shot lead. <laughs> Absolutely none. There's no shot. Oh, I hit him. Let's go. <laughs> I helped Meyer get the kill before he died. I'll take that. Uh, oop, there's some damage. There's a thousand. Oh boy. Ay, 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 Okay, alright. I think there's a difference in how easy a champion is to learn and play and how easy it is to actually get value. That's true. But generally, Shaolin's a much easier character than Eevee, so... The only real qualification to play Shaolin is being able to aim with his projectiles. Like, you just gotta practice that. Like, the, the actual reason why I can't play Shaolin but I can play Eevee is because I've practiced Eevee for like 150 hours or more. I don't know how many hours I've spent in her at this point. And you know, I've spent 300 hours in BK, but I've spent a fraction of that time in Shaolin. So I played a decent amount of Shaolin in my, try in my time because I tried to make him work, but like, oh my god, I'm so bad. It's just not something I was ever able to do. If that isn't the most obvious thing by now. Alright, I'm gonna try and salvage this. Dad, no, okay. Bro, the shields! They're so annoying. Yeah, this is this is just looking like a GG. Zuna's ulting out. Buy some time. Alright, he stopped in place, but I do kill him, because bro just stood still. I'm going for the touch! No, I'm dead. Just blame your teammates. I don't think I can blame my teammates on this one. Meyer was carrying. I was not. Uh, let's see. How bad did I do? Five kills. Ah, uh, no, we can blame Wiro. Meyer did better than me, but uh, it's, it's Wiro's fault, clearly. Also, we had a bot Fernando, so like, you know, that too. All right, let me invite Zuna back. And I'm going to briefly BRB because I gotta blow my nose. I'm so stuffy. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze at any moment, so let's just fix that. Alright, much better. Let's go ahead and queue. Up next, we gotta play just some normal steady aim Nessa. That's a request I haven't gotten in a very long time, actually, so I guess we'll try it. Sure! 
Bro started playing some goofy ass yeah, music for us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what this song is. Don't worry about it. I also noticed for some reason the chat just wasn't showing up on the BRB screen. I don't know why that was. Oop, and Octavia redeemed. Okay, we're just going for all sorts of weird champions here. Oop, and Questionator's mad about that for some reason. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Andrew dijo tu nombre? C. Si. I don't know what their name means, but I read it, because it's a name. Is that bad? I've heard the word cabron, but I don't know what it means. I know it's like... I, I don't know. What does it mean? Let me actually look it up. Here we go. Uh... Oh! I shouldn't say that word, should I? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what is what does Fabry mean? Is that bad? That just means f like, okay. Uh, that means nothing. Okay, I'll just call you Fabry then. How about that? <laughs> yeah, this is why I need to do Spanish Keep lessons, Meyer. Exactly. Also, can we just appreciate that there's still no dark mode for this? Like, at all? Where's my dark mode, bro? Please. Google. It's 2023. Why is there no dark mode? I hate it. Oop. Hello. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. They also call me Febreze for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, I know there are dark modes with plugins and stuff, but, like, <laughs> uh, why is it not a base feature of Google? It makes no sense whatsoever. I have my mark, and you're in the way. All right, uh, let's see. Let's do steady aim, steady aim build, and oh yeah, I'm using this skin. That kind of sucks. All right, all right. Uh, let's do some Haven. Here we go. Yeah, Opera GX has uh, that dark mode feature. The thing that I have a problem with, though, is when I turn dark mode on with Opera, sometimes the websites look a little bit weird. And it does weird things like my profile picture and stuff, you know? Valentina is the only good Nessa skin. Leave me alone. Bro, what about the... Uh, What's it called? The orange one that also has a white and purple recolor? I forget the name of it for some reason. That one's really good. Also, Valentina has a terrible weapon. Alright, here we go. Let's figure out how to play Kinesa. Yep. Alright, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Success! Kinesa has been played. I helped get a kill. Yay! Oh, sir. Yeah, nice shield. You are dead now. Congratulations. Oh yeah, the teleport is not instant. I forgot about that. Good boy. Bro, what is this guy's healing policy? Man's got like all of it. Alright, let me pop down here. Should have a safer angle here. Almost killed that Sarah as Evie's coming around. Let me throw this out. She's gone. She's playing wormhole here. Okay. I see. Fine. I lost her. Hey, there we go. Nice. She is very gone, I think. Let me head up here. Nice play. 1,200. 900. Oh, she was low. Okay. Throw this out. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, seems we're mostly fine. The Hurl Spammer is back. We do manage to cap. That's good. He is... <laughs> I expected him to go further to the right. He did not. Okay. Oh, back over here we go. Dredge is still over there. I'll just throw a mine. Because why not? Kind of just awkward right now. You know what? <laughs> Flank Nessa never hurt anybody, right? Hey, there's some damage. Yay. All right, let me head back up here. And do some more damage. I think he's back here. Yeah, she is. 
Where is she? She's somewhere back there. I'll throw the mine out. Bro, she is zooming. Oh. Okay. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just die. Thank you. Dredge could have had a double if he threw it at the Eviel, but he didn't. I don't know why. That was really confusing. Oh! Okay. I am dead. Good fight. Ah. Yay. Okay. Out of all the skins to get a recolor, why this one? Because, uh, Egyptian Battle Pass or something. I, I don't know, man. Okay, let me head up here. There we go. And there goes Owen. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Great. That's why you don't try to track Evie while she's soaring. You're just wasting your time. Not going to hit her. Not like that. Not when she is uh, on a sugar high or something. Oh boy. Oh, he's gone. Okay. No carbine Nessa for me. There's some damage though. You are so one. Alright, good. He died. You're dead. Screw it. Carbine Nessa! Oh yeah! There we go. Got one. We throw the mine back there to help we do some damage to Saris. And we should push this through. There we go. Nice. We did it. Khan called you little. You must be Barak. I, I am Barak. Yeah. No, it's not easier to track Eevee on controller. But, yeah. It just takes practice. Just like everything, it takes practice. Armin is a bot. Oh, did he leave? That sucks. That really sucks. I have a fun video idea. I don't know if it's possible, though, but get a bunch of unpopular opinions about the game and characters and react to them and say what you think about it. Oh. Interesting. So just read Paladin's Twitter, or <laughs> read Palacord for some bad takes and react to it. Genius. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, toss a mine back there. Toss a mine back there. And let's win this game, briefly. It seems like Dredge is just up there. Yep, don't miss. There's a thousand. Eevee's back. Get off my Corvus. Ma'am. Okay. There, I tickled him before he dies, inevitably. Ah, uh, I actually finished him. Alright, I'll take that. Hello. How are you? It's going to drop and then come back up there, jump over your shot. Now you're going to teleport back up here. But that's fine, because I know your every move. I just can't track you during Soar. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. But we live that. That's what matters. Can we throw this in here? She is just gone. Yep. All right. Throw that out. Goodbye, bot. Let's go back up here now. Okay. I guess I'll push up a little bit. Not much going on back there. I'll head over here. This is probably a good angle, right? Maybe? Oop, he knows. Oh my gosh. Just can't hit him. Yeah, I'm not peeking that, bro. <laughs> I'm too low for that, man. Leave me alone. Oh, there's Eevee. She's too short. Alright, let me just get up to the high ground. That's kind of a bad angle, actually. Hey, there we go. Finish that off. Okay. This is looking like it'll wrap up in the next minute. I mean, they're just crumbling. I feel so bad for that bot. Okay, let's go in. Carbine time. Yeah, let's go. Woo. Yay. Yep, I fell. And all right. Well, there we go. We have succeeded. Hooray. <sighs> Why does the skin have that weird whistle for teleport? I don't know, man. They should make another champ that's another golem, like Bolt, but not just some goblin slave. Like a proper, like, stone golem would be cool. We already have two of those. 
but like I don't know something else so, so, something else would probably be better like another orc you know <clears throat> all right well I got a whole six kills there that's great <laughs> let's just let's just go again we have to play Octavia up next here we go <clears throat> I play I picked who my duo wanted then afk'd Sag yeah I'm sorry about the bot it's really unfortunate Just a warrior golem? Well, yeah. <laughs> but we don't have enough orcs, you know? Or goblins, or fey, or vulpin, or any of these cool factions that just only have one representative in this game. The Lepori are lucky to have two, but one of them is just a human. Anyways, so, you know. That's not super different. I really just want another orc, though. Rock. Like an orc tank. That would be just the best. That would be awesome. Is silver that bad? When does the standard of game become good? Oh yeah, silver is below average. The average is gold, maybe low plat. You would officially become good at diamond. Diamond plus is where the good people are. Like, plat is slightly above average, but still not, like, super, super great. And then if you're bronze, you're absolute trash. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. It, it, should, it should encourage you to uh, improve, right? But, I mean, if you're in the lowest rank, you're in the lowest rank. That's just how it is. What's your rank? Currently, I'm unranked because I haven't played ranked this split, but I peaked Grandmaster this season. Champion. Grover's my favorite. And yeah, Grandmasters are the best of the best. They're the highest rank. It's like the opposite of bronze, right? And Masters are good, too. And what if you don't play ranked at all? Well, then you don't have a rank. And you don't have a rank. And that's just how it is. <laughs> there is no indicator of your skill apart from how many matches you're able to win. How good you are able to do in those matches. You know. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't even know what skin to go. I kind of feel like most of her skins suck. Like, she has recolors. And then she has these beach skins and that's it but like i'm not a super huge fan of the skins because i feel like they're annoying and then the gold skin sucks because it's like bronze remember i don't know man i'll just I've use this one your back we stick together i'm against the grandmaster end. stack i saved you from them oh boy <laughs> good luck with that stealthy i would not be able to hold a candle to them playing octavia well they've got Another Octavia opposing me, as well as Eevee, Pip, Io, Makoa. I'm guessing that's a damage Pip then, because they have Io. If it's a damage Io, then I guess hopefully we just win that, right? Sadly, though, we do have a Torvald solo tank, so that's going to be a bit rough for us. But it is what it is. Right, I don't like ranked right, in any game. In general, I just want We've chill games. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, do what do we even want for this team? Cooldowns? Sure. Uh, what, what talent do people even play with Octavia anymore? I don't know, man. I'll play Asymmetric Warfare, I guess. And um, probably get some Haven. Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing on Octavia, because quite frankly, I don't care. I'd rather play Ash from Overwatch. Because they're basically the same, but Ash is just better. And that's one of the cases where Overwatch definitely does a hero better than Paladins. <laughs> Octavia's a joke. Look at this spread. Are you kidding me? That's a joke. You can barely hit the broad side of that wall. Ugh, it's terrible, man. Ugh, don't like it. And also the scope is just really awkward. You know? It's really bulky. It's hard to see around. Alright. Let's head over here. Have a distortion field. That's doing a lot, I promise. I swear. I know how to play Octavia, okay? I'm level 62 with her. I should be good at her, right? Oh my gosh, she is playing damage, Io. Okay. Cool. I mean, we should just win, then. I, I don't see a world in which damage Io beats us here. Especially with we're on 7, right? I mean, he's not playing against my Makoa, so, like, he should dominate. We do a bit of trolling. Oh boy. 
Alright, thank you, Meyer, for finishing that, because I am clearly inept. Oh boy. Oh, she was so low. Yeah! Okay. Well, let's just chill up here. Kill Makoa, there we go. Octavia's still over there. Getting healed, though. Okay, let me just throw this down. A lot of junk out here. Uh, oh boy. Alright, I was trying to flank. Not that it matters. Hey, there we go. We did it. I definitely helped. Yay. Alright, there we go. We should cap. This is going to be a really awkward game, isn't it? Don't think I've seen you play Octavia before. Yeah, I rarely ever play this champion. And when I do, it is exclusively for champion requests. But those champion requests are also pretty rare, because I feel like she's just a boring champion. You know? Literally Ash from Overwatch, but just clunkier. Like, I don't know. This does not strike me as someone particularly great. Even if she does have good DPS, right? Like, she's not a bad champion in terms of being able to do stuff. Especially if you're on Roller. Oh my gosh. She's insane on Roller. Yellow. Yeah, but, not very fun to play. Ah, she's low. Get me healed, though. Okay. Let's try not to get hooked here. Just stay out of effective range. Uh, maybe shoot the Eevee if I can. She just went out of my line of sight, though. Ult coming out. You know what? I'll send an ult there way, too. Here we go. Just chuck that back there. Wow. 800 damage. Let's go. No hook, please. Throw this up here. Ooh, we did hit that. Keep putting pressure on him. There we go. He dies. Good. Wow. <laughs> Bunch of clams out here just missing everything, me and this Octavia right now. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, okay. E, no hook. Focus that pep a little bit. No good angle anymore, though. Let me throw this on point. Koa dies. Good. Alright. And we push. Nice. Boy, howdy. I cannot wait for this game to be over. This is so boring. <laughs> uh, why does no one use Maeve anymore? I still see an okay amount of Maves. I don't know. Maybe all the furries left the game? <laughs> no, they didn't. Uh, it's probably just due to other characters being more meta at the moment. Like, Eevee, Vatu, uh, Seven, and Droxus. Of course, in my streams, I encounter a lot more Eevees and Sevens because I get stream sniped by Eevee and Seven mains. So, you know, I'm not an accurate representation of the actual spread of players. Maeve's still decently popular, though. Like, she's a very reasonable character to play. She's not top tier, giga overpowered or anything, but she's good. Like, there's no reason not to play her, honestly. <laughs> Unless you're, like, ultra tryharding and trying to win your Grandmaster games, in which case, uh, play Vatu. For me, if I had to choose between the two, like, Maeve and Vatu, Vatu kind of made it a lot harder for me to want to choose Maeve, specifically because of one thing that I really can't stand about Maeve, and that's accidentally pouncing somebody when I'm trying to use it for movement, and then that just kills me because I don't go anywhere as a result. With Vatu, I never have to worry about that. But Maeve is still very fun. She has much better range. I know that's very alluring to some people. As well as the general thing of, uh, you know, double jumping and her mobility style is slightly different to Batu's. Both, in my opinion, are more fun than Genji, though. Because Genji has that stupid, like, lock on his dash where you just can't look around while using it. I don't like that. Other flanks are better and more fun. I mean, fun is subjective. Maeve is still a good amount of fun. For me, nothing beats Eevee, but that's because I'm an Eevee addict, so, you know. That's how that works. I'm healing Torvald, let's go! I claim credit for keeping him alive, but he's still peaking even though he's 1 HP, why? We lose that cap, unfortunately. 
The power of comeback mechanic, plus a few good kills, plus me being a Muppet <laughs> on Octavia. Hey. Oh man. Just so awkward trying to use this gun! <sighs> okay. Good night. There's some damage on you. Just a shield in the way. Let's not get hooked here. I'll throw this down. Yeah, we're healing. Let's go. Got you, you dods. Octavia healer. Right, pop the sacrifice. Mokoa's dead. That's good. I think we should reasonably, reasonably be able to defend here. Like, doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard for us. How's Evie good? I know her gun does a lot, but none of her abilities help to damage, like Vatus or even Maids. Was this the same person who said they were Silver 5? Ah, uh, oh boy. That, ooh. That's, uh, man, we... Ooh. Where do I even begin? Okay. So, first of all, Eevee is, like, the most skillful flank in the game. Just period. So, if you are in Silver, yeah, Eevee's gonna be trash, because nobody knows how to play her. But, in the higher echelons of gameplay, where Eevee is played by people who are skillful, i.e. me, uh, or Uber Spady, or Z1 Unknown, or any of the good Eevee players out there. What Eevee has, above other flanks, is her mobility. Right? She has far above average mobility. Not quite at the level of 7s, but still very good mobility nonetheless. And while she does only do 850 DPS, she's able to be very evasive. Ow, okay. And that leads to her being able to get value because she's able to stay alive and maneuver herself into good positions to kill the enemies. And with Wormhole, it also allows her to be incredibly safe, to where she can blink out, shoot a few shots, maybe soar once for some extra evasiveness, and then teleport back to safety. So she's able to do damage more safely there, too. It takes a lot of effort to pull that off, but if you're good at her, yeah. Like, her skill ceiling enables her to be one of the most powerful supports, uh, or one of the most powerful flanks in the game, if you are, you know, really good at her, right? I joined and Andrew is roasting someone. I'm not roasting, I'm just like... <laughs> that's just a perspective I haven't encountered before. Like, what makes EP good? Because I've even encountered some people who are like gold or whatever, who like, are trash at Eevee, but they still know Eevee's good and still get annoyed by her. So, seeing someone who's not even encountered that is like, huh, that's interesting, you know? But yeah. The point is, like, her effectiveness is largely dependent on your skill. If you're good at her, she is one of the best flanks. If you're bad at her, she is one of the worst flanks, no doubt. <laughs> And the same goes for a lot of flanks. Vatu is the same way. If you look at his win rate in average ranks, like just wholesale look at casuals, Vatu actually has a pretty low win rate. But if you go and look at Vatu in high ranks, his win rate goes much higher. That's because it's the same way. Vatu's a really hard character to play, and so not everyone's going to play him well. But the players who do play him well absolutely pop off with him, and he is arguably the strongest flank in the game on keyboard. He is better than Eevee, I would argue because he does have that extra damage reduction and that extra burst that Eevee doesn't have, while maintaining a very similar level of mobility and safeness. Oh boy. This stinking gun! Okay, there we go. Let me this out. <sighs> Let's just win this game. I am so done with Octavia, man. This champion is just a snooze fest. It's like the Saris of the damage class. It's just, I'm sleeping right now. Oh boy, and I'm whiffing too, that's no good. Ah, please! <laughs> I hate scoping in like this! <laughs> ah. Alright, well we've we've got a touch point. We do we did force our tank off. It's a good Furia boost, but I'm about to die to Eevee. Okay, thank you for the heal. I'm doing such an absolutely poor job of actually confirming kills. I'm glad Caspian was able to do something there. Uh, try and get in there, do some damage to Makoa. I'm just in a terrible position, though, but I got Makoa. Please, just cap. I want it to be done! Uh... Wouldn't the Saris of the damage class still be Vivian? Oh, that's true. Right, I forgot about her. 
They're both really boring, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello. There we go. Yay. I'm so sloppy with this character, man. There we go. Kill Makoa. Thank goodness that's over. Alright. We gotta play some damage Grok up next. I cannot wait for that. I think Vivian is more boring just because she's easier. Yeah. She's also a bit less clunky, though. Ah, they're both just terrible. Oh, Meyer, if I was actually playing Ash, I wouldn't have a problem. Right. This is Walmart brand Ash, okay? <laughs> I don't say that about a lot of characters in this game comparing to Overwatch, but Octavia is literally Walmart brand Ash, okay? She's... Uh, she's so annoying. Uh, how many matches have we played with this party? I feel like we've played a lot. We have done, yeah, four. All right, let's swap the party now. It's been two hours now, so if you want to join, say your name in the chat. I will invite you, and we will play some Damage Grok. Idiot player. Febreze, 2007. Uh, hello? There we go. Spell it properly. <laughs> Snugs, the great. And Kitten, 08. There we go. Have an invite. All righty. Damage Grok time. Bear in mind, we will need a second support on the team, because I am not healing. I am a damage character, because I'm cool like that. Here we go. Ooh, Serpent Beach. This will be very interesting. Here's my Grok, though. Level 130. Proud and tall. We got the Grok Lobster. We got the Love Staff. We are ready to go. Do you know the difference between Ola and Ola? Ola without the H. No, I don't. Should I be concerned that I've said that word too? Because <laughs> I should have said the word in your name. Oof. Meyer, help me. <laughs> uh, but no, I don't. I know, like, uh, Ketal and Keonda. And half of why I know that is because of Sombra from Overwatch, because <laughs> she says that. And I was like, what does that actually mean? I looked it up and realized it's just another form of greeting. And that's why she says it when she exits stealth. Hola is wave in Spanish without the H. Oh, okay. So both of them are effectively the same thing. That makes sense. Okay. A wave isn't an actual wave. Well, you know what? Wave. Hola! I could have said hola with or without the H, but either way it applies. There we go. Thoughts on Vora? Uh, she's a very cool, well-designed flank, but she's not very good right now because other flanks are just better. She's a jack-of-all-trades, master of none, and that results in her getting outclassed by people who specialize in one specific thing. Her... I guess one unique thing is she does have a base kit cripple, but Seven is just a better version of Aura. He has better poke and better mobility, and he runs laps around her. She's very fun, though. Like, if you want a fun flank to play, I definitely recommend her. I know Un Bocadillo is sandwich. Nice. I learned, what is it, Montequilla recently, which I think is butter. Thanks, Babel, teaching me the most important words. Uh, I'm so, like, bad at Babel, because I'm just lazy, and I don't do it. I do it, like, maybe once a week. And I'm just, like, I'm, I'm wasting my own money. Like, I have no one to blame but myself. Babel's good, but I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm retaining what I'm learning, but I'm just so slow, because, I don't know. I'm a gamer. I gotta play video games, man. <laughs> That's more important. That's more important than learning Spanish. Learning a second language. Yeah. I got an E in my high school Spanish I cheated too. Jeez. I took a lot of Spanish in high school. I was pretty good at it. But I only retained portions of it. I'm still bad at like conjugations and tenses. Like you want me to say past tense? Oh boy. <laughs> good luck with that. I think I vaguely remember some things, but like come on. <laughs> I'm not great. I'm sorry. That's the real Shaka Zulu up top. Playing Drogos, by the way. That's pretty cool. Plus respect. 
One of my favorite leaders in Civ 5. Actually, he's not. I barely played him because I barely played Civ 5 after getting the DLC because Civ 6 came out, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> you know what? He was a cool leader in Civ 3. I played him in Civ 3. There we go. Yeah. Fun fact. Civ 3 is basically as old as me. Like, that came out probably, like, I think it was two months before I was born. So, yeah. Fun facts with Andrew. I didn't like Spanish. I would have preferred something more exotic. Like Indonesian. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to an American school because you're saying you learn Spanish in school. And I know here we have, like, Spanish and maybe German or French, depending on the region or depending on how many options your school's allowed to offer. The reason I want to learn Spanish is just it's the most practical thing I can learn. Because as an American, everything south of here, except Brazil, speaks Spanish. And also, like, those weird countries that nobody cares about that speak, like, English. <laughs> those former colonies. But we don't talk about that. It's 99% Spanish. And so, you know, it, it just makes sense. Pragmatically. And then also if I go to Europe, right? I can go to Spain, no problem. But I can also go to Italy and... You know, it's not perfect, you know, it's not a one-to-one, -one, but Spanish, if I just speak Spanish to an Italian, they'll get the gist, and that's very good. Hello. Take some damage. Ah, uh, you got the first slot. I must chase you, I'm Gurk. Okay, uh, never mind. Thank you, Ray, for the heals. I didn't even realize we are going all supports. Uh, <laughs> okay. Shows how little I'm paying attention to this match. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Die. Uh-oh. Ooh, he's low, though. He dodged that, and there we go. Nice. Here in New Zealand, we have the native language, Maori, and Japanese, which is pretty cool. Because you could eventually go to Japan if you stayed long enough. That's cool. British people study Spanish, French, German, or Urdu. Right. One of those one of those languages is not like the others. Hold on. What, what's the story behind that? I gotta know. What's the story there? Because there's gotta be a story for it, right? <laughs> European countries are forced to learn British English. Very scary. I don't know about scary. It's much the same as Spanish, actually. It's just pragmatic. Because... English has become effectively the lingua franca of the world. Which, can we just appreciate the irony in that sentence right there? Because lingua franca is how we refer to it in English, but that is literally from French. Gotta love that irony, but it's the lingua franca of the world, so it's just pragmatic. Like, one language would be that, whether it's English or French or Spanish or Chinese, so I don't think it's scary, you know? In Sweden, it's Spanish, German, French, or extra English. I like how you say extra English because English is just mandatory. Damnation. As an American, though, that's really convenient for me because <laughs> a lot of Europeans speak English. Hey, there we go. I don't have to learn any languages. Let's go. I already learned the best one. <laughs> no, it's still a good idea to learn other languages. Plus, it's just interesting. You also get to learn about the culture when you learn other languages. Like... More so when I was actually in proper Spanish class in school, we would learn about, like, you know, Spanish, like, cathedrals and stuff, and different monuments, and we would also learn about different Latin American countries. I remember one time we had to uh, look up a dish that was native to a certain country and try to make it, and that was pretty fun. Of course, me being lazy, I chose a Cuban sandwich, because, like, bro, a sandwich is easy. <laughs> but other people made some really elaborate stuff. Pretty cool. Yo, that Maelstrom. Huge value on those flying targets. I will take that. Oh, uh, thank you for those turrets. Alright, let's vault. That barrack is very uncomfortable. Let's go. And let's fly up here, kill you, drop back down, and kill the Shah. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. What is happening? We're gonna steal a pyramid. Grew? Hey yo? What's next? The moon? 
Oh god. Your sight fails you. Uh oh. Let's run away. Oh, he got the cripple. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Uh, he's in more danger, but I'm in danger. Huge damage, we just win that. Poor Saris. Oh boy. Alright, let's just ghost walk it back. Nice, Drokos is dead. Let's just do some damage here. Eric! Stop being so short! I wanna hit you! There we go. Nice. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's low. Got him. Let's ghost walk. Alright, we're fine. We're just going to start stealing alien objects for our museums. <laughs> uh, great. British museums. Just take artifacts from everywhere else but their own homeland. Because everywhere else is the only place with real culture. <laughs> what is British culture, eh? Beans on toast? Come on, man. That's not real culture. Britain really invaded the entire world looking for spices just to say, nah, salt and pepper. That's all I need. If I even put that on my food at all. Sometimes I might just not even season it. Hello. I am Grok. <laughs> yeah, Grok Gaming. I get those bounces going for the extra sustain. He's really low. Ooh, he went underneath. Okay, let's just run away. Ooh, thank you, Grover. He was so one. Bounce, please kill him. Yeah, let's go. Maelstrom. Oh boy, I am in danger. You throw this totem here. Oh, that Maelstrom missed. Okay. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. Who is he going to get? Absolutely no one. All right. Well, I expected better strategies from the general Shaka Zulu, but... Oh well. I guess he was from the 1800s, right? So, like... <laughs> he's not used to modern paladin's tactics. That's fair. I don't think Julius Caesar would do too much better. Uh, ah. All right. There's the totem. Throw that back. Nice. And we should be able to push this through, I think. Hopefully. Uh-oh, I've been feared off the point. That's bad. All right, let's just ghost walk here. Put this down. They're getting some kills, but we got their tank. Damage Grok, pop off. There we go, there's another. Rolting this. I don't care. Counter the shot ult, kill the Andro. There we go. And we push it through. Let's go. Stop it. Nice. I so rejuvenated. <sighs> On a real note, why do Americans put sugar in bread? Is it it's meant to be bread, not cake? Oh, yeah, listen, I know. Our American bread is a travesty. We don't talk about oh. it. That is an absolute L on the part of America compared to the fresh bakeries of Europe. I 100% agree. Like, yeah, just regular store-bought loaves? Uh, I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's weird. Of course, you're not talking about, like, proper sweet breads, like an actual proper thing. Just regular bread. And then we wonder why we have an obesity epidemic. Uh, I say that as an obese person. <laughs> it's so tragic. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's heal up. There we go. Ghost walk. Giving me huge value on this healing here in late game. Oh, he went for me. Alright, I was not able to jump. They put sugar everywhere, because apparently insulin isn't expensive enough. Yeah. We, we put sugar everywhere, so everyone is fat and gets diabetes, and then we charge, like, uh, insane amounts of money for insulin. You can make a conspiracy out of that. Oh, boy. Ooh, let's go. That actually hit. <laughs> nice. Gotta love the rare opportunity to actually use that window for something. Oop, the bounce missed. Okay. Just bounce off that. I did not mean to drop. Um, okay, let's walk it back. Because I messed up. Ooh, he's kind of low. Come here, sir! Ooh, he's so low. Cyrus, you got that. 
I'll let you chase that. I got Andrew over here. Zap. Oh boy. He's dead, that's good. Shock is not giving me bounces. Just throw this back here. Eric. There we go, nice. Throw this down. Ah, oh, he's so low. Alright, nice, he died. Let's kill this Shaw. <laughs> I was shooting at Damba and he was in the way. Nice. And now we can kill Damba too. Perfect. I am so glad that I live near heel hills and mountains and lakes because I walk so much. Bro, I'm so jealous. Where I live, it's just a bunch of trees that just spam pollen everywhere. And that's it. I don't have mountains. It's kind of depressing, actually. Okay, let's run away. Nice. Illusion block that. We're just going to ult. That is a lot of danger I'm in right now. Just kill this Drogos. There we go. Uh, too sloppy against this Andrew. I need to reload. Should be able to kill him, though. I appreciate the help from the team. Uh, let me focus this shot if I can. There's some damage. No bounces, though. Uh, okay. Oh, that didn't bounce either. Alright. Lucky. We can kill him. My guy, I'm Damage Grok. You don't win this. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Damage Grok is so satisfying, man. Ah, there we go. What are you doing in my swamp? Glad I don't live there. Like, I could live in Florida. That would just be awful, though. England is just hills, plains, and rain. Low key sounds kind of nice, though. Any advice to make Grok work with all the car rise? Uh, I mean, if you're playing damage Grok, that's not really a concern. You, like, you just put your totems down. If you're running Lightning Rod, then you just right click and then Ghost Walk. Like, healing yourself with Grok is not a problem, because Ghost Walk exists. But if you're trying to deal with Cauterize, like, for Five, healing with Totemic Ward, four, three, then it's two, just the same as every other support, one. basically. Where your teammates have to worry about cleansing Cauterize, you can't cleanse Cauterize for them. Encourage the tanks to buy Rejuve. Okay. Grok really is a sustain healer, though, so he gets hurt by Cauterize a bit more than someone like Furia. Where Furia can wait for someone to leave Cauterize, time a heal, and then instantly burst them for... 2000. So, yeah, that is just something that is kind of bad for Grok, but it's not the end of the world. It requires smart team play. Grok, in general, is a niche support because he does require, like, the right comp and the right team play. But in that situation, he's very powerful. You know, another good thing about Grok is that he provides that movement speed with Spirit's Grace, and that is completely irrelevant to cauterize. That'll apply whether you're at 90% or no cauterize at all. And that's really good. Hello, Drogos. That's a lot of damage, and we are going to lose this game. Unfortunate. I feel like I did a good job there, but yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we were five supports. That comp generally doesn't tend to work out unless you snowball early game, and we failed to do that. As long as you're not under 5'7", you're good. Otherwise, you have to cosplay Barrack like Andrew. I'll have you know I'm 5'10 with shoes on, so I'm not quite that short, okay? <laughs> I'm average. Yeah, I got 20 kills there. I was doing pretty good, but sadly, yeah, the point presence was not there. And 5 supports is generally not a comp that's actually that good. It is funny sometimes, but, you know. <laughs> Cauterize Rezo. Hard counters it. Anyways, up next we must play more Turtle. Okay, thank you. I love playing Turtle. He heck yeah. We talk in centimeters, Andrew. Talk metric system, Mr. Imperial. I... I, I know. But they used Imperial. So I talked back to them in, in Imperial. Because they initiated the conversation in Imperial, sir. I believe... Someone can do the conversions to make sure it's 177 centimeters. Pretty sure. But, again, some, someone fact-check that. <laughs> 
Andrew through by not getting Rejuve? Bro, I had other items to get. <laughs> I didn't throw. I got twice as many kills as the next person, okay? Grok Gaming. Alright, let's play some Turtle. Here we go. Let's bounce back to this skin. One centimeter more than Andrew. Wow. I mean, that's a rough estimate, though, just based off of Google conversions. I haven't measured myself exactly in centimeters, and so there could be a one or two centimeter difference. I don't know. They shall find no weakness in my hide. Don't dumb down and use the metric system. Always use the freedom system. Okay, but the metric system is smarter, though, so it's not dumbing down. It's becoming wiser and realizing that they made a more efficient system that just works better. And Imperial is dumb and should die out. Like, genuinely, the conversions are so much easier. With Imperial, you have to remember, remember, okay, there's 12 inches in a foot. And first of all, what is that naming? Why are we using feet to measure? What? Okay. And then it's... I actually have been using metric a lot more recently. I forget how many feet are in a yard. It's like three point, like... Wait, no, it's three feet in a yard, and then it's like 3.4 feet or something like that for meter. That's where I was getting confused. But you have, like, all these weird numbers, not even mentioning quartz, like there's four quartz in a gallon or something like that. And then... With the metric system, it's just there's... Ten of these, then ten of these, then ten of these. It's all based on ten. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. It's just... Oh, that just makes sense, man. Temperatures? Alright, 0 degrees is freezing, 100 degrees is boiling. Look at how easy that is. It's all based on the scent, which stands for... <laughs> centuries... I don't know, a hundred! And it's beautiful. Hello. Alright, she's going in. Emoji's behind. Oop, never mind. Alright, come here. Alright, there's that magic barrier, don't care, you die. Put shield up here. And... Wow, that died quickly. Is she, uh... Yeah, she's coin spam. Okay. That's pretty cringe, bro. There we go, nice. Hey, I killed Andrew. Let's go. <laughs> Assert my dominance as the best Andrew. Of course. Can I get some healing? Thank you. Oh, boy, I'm just getting stunned. Thank you, Ray. Alright. Let's see about getting this saute. Ah, uh, bad hook. Oh, thank you. That helps. Bad everything. Bad everything. Hold on. Reset the brain. Okay, we got the double. That's good. Uh, oh, dude. I am just taking so much damage. I need some rejuve. Here we go. Reject kilometers per hour. Embrace bald eagles per football field. All ah, right. Ah. <laughs> uh. 99 degrees in America. Oh, yeah. Versus 99 degrees elsewhere. Everyone's dead. I don't know if you'd be giving a thumbs up for 99 degrees in America, though. Like, yeah, you're not going to die unless you spend too much time outside. But, like, it's not good either. Like, 80 degrees. That's how you would do it. 80 degrees is comfortable. Whereas 80 degrees in Celsius, you are literally dead. Let me throw this down. Oh boy. Aye! Bro, she went, like, past my hook. <laughs> Alright, let's just ult. Screw it. We stay aggro. Let's go. Alright. Let's get the shield down here. Make some space. Ooh, max length hook. Let's go. That felt good. Oh, I'm waiting for that. Okay. I don't have shield for this right now. Let's wait and put it down now. Maeve is behind. She's dead. We lost our healer, though, so I'm going to get out of here. <sighs> the winters are getting colder here in New York, though. I want a cold winter. I don't have that privilege where I live. The coldest it might get is, like, 50 degrees, and that's just sad. Alright, let's go over here. Let me stun her? Oh, wow, she was actually really fast. Okay. 
Oh, I was going to stun her. Whoa! Okay, and she was spamming ult. Do I have any damage? Nope, no damage. And my last two shots didn't register. Okay. Keep in mind the metric system also makes sense linguistically. Centimeter literally means a hundredth of a meter. Exactly. Like, it's it just makes sense. And isn't meter literally, like, the term... Like, Latin-based term for measure? Or French-based, or something like that? It's very nice. I live in the UK, where if it's above 25 Celsius, we burn our bums off, and if it's anything else, it's normal. Uh, I kind of relate to that, except it's a lot hotter here. Five, four, three, two, one. Who uses cubits? Cubits? Many what kind of old timey, old timey biblical person are you, <laughs> Cubits? What are you trying to build an ark or something? Oh, I got knocked. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I got knocked, bro. I couldn't hook. It's lame. Yeah, cent is a hundred in French. Exactly. Okay. Well, Maeve is dead. We lost our omen, though. We're about to lose everyone else. Maeve, get out of there. Before I get out of there. Oh, she's going to die. Yeah. At least she didn't technically waste ult, though that was very close. We need to regroup and then use our ults to retake, because we have all our ults except Ray's. Hello. Yeah! 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 Going to swing my anchor. Yeah, let's go. We did it. All right, shield. Okay, we blocked that. Good. Force her to die. Make sure we stun her in place. I need healing though. Ray. Por favor. Ray! I can't go on point with 500 health. Thank you. Here's this. Oop, she's trying to use the coin. Omen's there though. And she dies. All right, good. <sighs> I am rejuvenated. Holting your, when your whole team is dead, the Vora special. Armageddon retreats. Yes. Okay, well, there we go. We cap. Nice. Um, I'll let them push. I'll push up a little bit. Hello. Where are you going, Yago? I have a shield. Get stunned? She dies. Let's go. Huge stun. Hook may not be able to pull her, but it still stuns her. So, that's huge. Right, come here. Easy hook. And... Please die. There we go. <laughs> that was so awkward, because she got the smallest heal from Sarah's. Alright, let me go back here. Make sure we push and get healed. Perfect, thank you. Oh, there's some damage. She may try and go for an ultimate again, by the way, so we should be careful. Oop. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm really close to her, so it's fine. Oh, she's ult. Oh, Ray ulted me too. Okay. A bit inefficient, but we live that. We get the kill. Oh, she put the barrier up. There we go, got her. Let's put the shield up. And... Oop, hello, Saris. There we go, that stun gets her killed. Kill the Maeve, and we push. Let's go. Uh, I have not played enough Makoa recently, but these games I've been playing with him have been so much fun. The Imperial system is so bad in America that you guys literally have 95% of your railroad network owned by private companies, so you can't get an exact measurement on how much there is. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Woo! I remember in the beta when they nerfed mobility because they didn't want hypermobility. Look what happened to now. The original Eevee had as much mobility as 7. I don't know if she had quite that much, but yeah. They did nerf mobility all across the board. Mostly because of controllers, because they were porting the game to console, and it's a lot harder to track mobility on console. It is kind of sad, honestly, but... Ah, we just have to deal with the ramifications now. I'm glad they added some of that mobility back, like the air strafing. 
still so happy about that small change that they did at the, smart of the, uh, at the start of the season. It's just really good. Alright, she's gonna pop barrier, I think. JK, she's just going to die. Good. Alright, Maeve. Still over here? Kind of. Ah, uh, bad hook, bad hook. Oop, hello? Okay. <laughs> just die? I'm gonna push up a little bit. But I don't want to push up too far. Reason being, I want an emote on point. I'm just gonna do it now. I don't think they touch. Here we go. Yeah, we just win. <laughs> Let's go. Excellent work. I love that. I love this emote so much. I think Sora's speed used to be twice as fast. Oh, really? That's crazy. Valorant is so icky because you can't strafe. Like, who stands still to shoot? Yeah. I mean, that's just the whole tactical shooter genre thing. I actually played a bit of CSGO recently again for the first time in a few years, because I was playing with some friends who play CSGO a lot more than I do. I forgot how just frustrating that game is. Like, CSGO and Valorant have the opposite problem of Overwatch, and I don't like both games for this same reason of just not being able to reliably do damage. In Overwatch, it's because the strafing is so fast and manic that you can't track them. It's just ridiculous. I don't like that at all. But then in CSGO, it's like, okay, well, there's basically no strafing. You have to stand still to even be accurate. But even if you do stand still, the guns have just such crazy spread that, like, I'll be aiming right at the target and maybe hit them once and then die. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of limp rifles are you giving me? What is this accuracy, man? <laughs> are my arms made of spaghetti? I just can't hold the rifle straight? What's going on here? Uh, like, at least in CSGO I can aim, but then I can't hit because of the weapon's accuracy. And then in Overwatch, well, the uh, weapons are accurate, but I can't aim! <laughs> and then there's Paladins, where I can be accurate, and I can aim. And it's nice. The player base has had to memorize spread and counter it by doing the opposite with the mouse. Yeah. And I feel like I'm just so late to the party that I can't even get into CSGO anymore without just getting trashed by people who have done that. That's why TF2 is also pretty good, because it's kind of the same way in that game. You're accurate, and you can aim. A little bit harder to aim in that game than it is in Paladins, though, but still. This is fine. This is all just... You can be accurate and aim because every character has the hitbox of Junker Queen? What, in Paladins? <laughs> I mean, yeah, the hitboxes help, but even then... It's just, yeah, the weapons are precise and the strafing isn't... <laughs> so manic that you can't track them. Overwatch truly is the only game that's ever made me feel bad at aiming. Every other game I've played, I don't feel bad. <laughs> but in that game, it's just so slippery. That's like the perfect word to describe it. It's slippery. Everyone's just sliding all over the place. And it's just... Ugh, it's pain. This realm is pathetic. Alright, well, I have to play damage IO, sadly. So, here we go. Let's get this over with. On this map, too, for some reason. Uh, let's just... I don't know. Buy some... Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I need Rezel and I need to Illuminate, actually. Because they have three Invis characters and a stun and then Nyx. So, okay, let's... <laughs> Do that then. I'm already throwing, so I might as well buy weird items, right? Sure, here we go. I see people playing at 600 DPI, meanwhile I'm at 2400. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine playing at like a ridiculously high sensitivity like that. I use my arm to aim, and it's very nice. And I hit all my hooks doing it. Almost all my hooks. Uh, 7 build is just typical reset stuff. All Nothing right. crazy. He's playing Spring Loaded as well. He's playing 7 on this map, so I don't expect too much of a problem. Anyways, here's Luna. Let's do some damage. Here we go. Wow, look at all that damage. IO DPS. Really just so good. Just some healing. I'll try and come back in here and maybe deal with Sky if I can. Oh, there she is. Truly aiming. I just 
forgot for a sec how to do it. We don't talk about it. Also, Luna's doing some nice damage there. She is one. There we go. Nice. I guess I actually didn't finish that, but that's okay. Here's some healing. I need some healing as well. Let me reload. Oh, yeah. Seven's on me. We sacrificed, though. All right. We're fine. I'll just throw Luna here. This was a mistake. I didn't expect there to be that much damage right there. I wanted her to do some damage. Maybe get a stun. Okay. That was bad. We don't talk about it. Let's go over here. Oh, hello. Thank you, Illuminate. Uh, seven's still up here. Oh, boy. Why can't I hit IO shots today? It's not that hard. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Gotcha. <laughs> Some of that air strafing. Nice. I just jump and shoot and we're just drifting. Okay, let's go have some fun. Here we go. There we go. Over here now. Lovely reposition. Oh, he was low. I'm not going to finish that, though. Thank you, Furia. Hello. Okay. I'm actually going to throw Luna down here. I'm feeling confident. We can kill the seven there. I want to make sure if I die, I don't teleport a million miles away. All right. Let me head up here. Hello. You have no shadow travel. You die. Didn't even shoot at me. Ooh, that's just so slow. Didn't track. My bad. All right. Back here I go. Let's get Luna ready. He's going to be chasing me. Yeah. Actually, wait. My team isn't up here. Okay. I didn't realize that everybody just kind of died, so that's my bad for being that far up. Let's get more stuff. Here we go. Are you missing with Tiberius and his two-second wind-up? Because uh, I... Listen, it's an IO ultimate. It's a slower projectile than I thought. I don't play this character, okay? I only play this character to play this skin. And I only do that rarely. So... Yeah. Uh-oh, Luna's about to get beaten up. Yikes. Got that bonus damage, though. I don't know why Luna isn't going for the stun, even though she obviously should be. But okay, you to you. Oh, that's so much damage. Okay. Heal you. And let me throw this down right here. Get some extra damage. Here, have some healing as well, I guess. I can hybrid. Oh, I can't make it up there. That's so lame. Okay. Oh, nice. She's dead. I'm probably going to, yeah, die there. And only one shot to kill me because of Cauterize. Fair enough. Questionator on his way to judge every single 7 player Andrew finds on his stream and crapping on them for their aim. Yes. <laughs> well, we are not going to push this. This is Ice Mines, so this is going to be a very long game because it's just so hard to push that final stretch. Hmm. He missed four bursts close range on an IO. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Seven is so annoying. Wow, really? What else is new? The sky is blue? <laughs> nah, I... <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. I... And we must kill him. Capture point spawning in nah, Vora's seconds. capping. Nah, she's totally right. Ooh, another color redeem. Hey, nice. It's the first time I'm ever playing Scorch, and it's so funny. Five, oh, yeah, it's four, a really fun playstyle. I see you two, took my build for it. That's nice. One. Yeah, I really love just stomping people in casuals with it. It's very fun. You just hold W, you laugh at him, you throw fireballs at him, you kill them. It's great. Scorch is a Chad playstyle. All right, let me put Luna down here again. There are a lot of people on their way to come kill me. We do kill Tiberius, though. I was going to try and get out of there before Sacrifice proc, but it did, so... Okay. I guess I gotta play cautiously for now. And miss all my shots, because of course... Here we go, let me heal you. Feared. Wow, I pressed my ultimate. You heard the sound effect play, but it didn't actually go off. That's crazy. Where's my damage immunity, man? Ooh, she actually dodged that in time. Nice. We lost Rogas though. We need to reset right now. Furious dead? Yeah. Oh, Fernando, no! Why'd you do that? No! Okay, at least don't die. At least don't die. Please, put up your shield if you have it. 
Ooh, there it is. I'm out of moonlight. Oh, I know. I'm wasting ult to try and save somebody. I'm so bad. Oh, we're gonna lose this point now for sure. There's no shot we come back from this. We're too far gone. Uh, just like that seven. He's too far gone. He... Okay. Goodbye. Aura's trying to go for touch. She's getting stuck on things, so... Yellow. Okay. Yeah. We horribly misplayed that team fight. Oh, come on, Fernando. Here you go. Survive. Survive, sir. Oh, he was one. I think he just lives that, though. Let me fly back here. Maybe deal with the sky. I'm gonna put Luna up here. And just hope she comes and chases me. Yeah, there she is. Luna's just not going for the stun. Luna, please, cooperate. You're supposed to, like, chase after her when she shoots me? And stun her? So we can kill her? Uh, Luna, Luna has no brain. Her brain no work. Oh, come on, snipe that. Fine. Alright, Luna, let's try it again. Stun this guy. Right here. There you go. Good job, Luna. That's what I wanted you to do the first time. Okay, I need to get out of here. Let me run back here. Need some healing. Alright, I'll just heal you. Should be fine. I cannot heal Vora. I guess I'll heal Drogo as briefly as he goes for the kill. Is she fine? I hear seven. Oh yeah, no, he's back there. He's back there. Whoa, whoa, ee, ooh, ee, ee, ooh, ee, ee. Okay. Thank you, Seven. <laughs> Such a cool character. Oh my. Oh, and he's back over here now. Alright. Well, there's no shot Luna gets the stun on him, so... Unless he actually comes back over here. Uh, let me try and heal you. We move Luna back here. We just need to play it a bit safe here. Uh, they might be coming back this way again. No? Okay. Oh, and I got stuck. Wait, stun? Stun? No stun, and my dog is dead. Alright, I have to win this or I die. There we go, we won that. However, I am in danger. Yeah, alright, just kill me. Oh no. Oh no, not the spam again. Why? Every stream. This is fine. Seven, six, Me. Five, Head up four, here. Throw Luna down. Three, two, Ignore one. chat. Hello. out. Ooh, you die. Nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request. I am the mighty seven player. I'm the mightiest seven player. I'm better than Questionator. You guys seriously need to 1v1. No, you're not. You lost to emoji. Oof. Oh, right! Yeah, emoji diffed. I don't think Questionator's been emoji diffed, but in fairness, he hasn't had the opportunity. Right? <laughs> Uh, one day. One day it'll happen. It's because he got Geno's Tyra and Torf pocket. Oh, wah, wah, wah. You walked into an ult. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> you, you you walked directly into the snack time. <sighs> you fell for the bait. Hook, line, and sinker. That is 100% on you. You can't blame my Geno's for that. Alright, go over there. Thank you. Oh, he was one. I got the sacrifice proc, though. Uh, I'm probably dead. Just send some shots back there. I need Luna in here. I should not peek. Let's just heal. We're somehow capping, by the way. I don't know how that's possible. Nyx is alive as well, which makes that even more confusing. Let me just heal you so you stay alive. The more teammates here, the better, right? I don't think I have sacrifice right now. Let's be careful. Uh, Drogos comes in, gets two. Vor finishes off Tiberius, though. We are in control of the point right now. Let's go. I'm going to push up for I am the mighty damage character. Hello, Seven. Okay. Um. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to blink away. Well, eh, okay. <laughs> so much for being a mighty damage character, then. 
Oh, we do manage to cap. There we go. Nice. Seven just didn't touch. He was too busy, uh... I don't know. Doing what seven players do. Probably eating glue. Ay! Oh, hello. I... Oh, okay. Okay, so basically Questionator is refusing a 1v1 to prove he is better because he is scared to face Wiro. Without the 1v1, you can't know. Oh, that's true. That's true. Because Andrew, Andrew won't do it on stream. I will do that 1v1. I will spectate that 1v1 live on stream. If you both are down to do it. Right here, right now, after this match, if you want. We, we will settle this once and for all. I am totally down. I was saying earlier I wasn't down for like a 1v1 streamer, I just 1v1 random people. That's not the same thing. Alright, Questionator says bet. Uh, do we have a yes from Wiro? Wiro's ready. Okay, after this match, uh, you two will set up a custom game. I'll go ahead and pop in and spectate it. And we will witness history. <laughs> The Clash of the Titans. Uh-oh. Let me head over here. We have enough momentum, we might be able to push this through. It's looking likely. If we can just keep it up. Let me move Luna here. Very aggressive position. And there we go, we push. Nice. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Get this stupid sacrifice IO off my team. Let's get ready for some quality entertainment. I gotta enter my spectator, professional commentator uh, mindset here. You're doing it on EU. Okay. Um, goodbye, party. I have more important things to watch here. Let's go to Europe. All right. I'll wait for it to show up. Or actually, I, why am I looking for that? I just need to do uh, slash spectate Wiro, and that should be good enough. Cue to spectate his next match. We'll see if this works. I think spectator oh, mode is right. bugged to where I can't look in first person. I remember hearing something about that, but that's okay. We just need to be here to watch. <laughs> we'll just watch them fly around. Oh yeah, 100% of prediction. 100% of prediction. Uh, here, I got it. Uh, prediction. Alright. Uh, let's start a new prediction. Oh gosh, this is so buggy. Um, the prediction, okay. Who will win? Wiro or Questionator? And I can't even select the time period. I think I need to make this larger. There we go. Alright, we'll do uh, one minute for the thing. Uh, all right, here we go. The prediction has been started. Got it. All right, there we go. Move chat back. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> ah. So I am just waiting for uh for the match to start. I'm waiting for them to join. Cue to spectate Wiro. Let me know if you guys are in the game, so I can know if I, like, my game is bugging or something. This is, this is going to be quite the tussle, though. You're discussing builds. Okay. I'm very curious to see that as well, because that is important. I'm guessing you two are using the same builds. The other question would be, what items are you using? Dennis has learned his lesson. He's not going all in on this. <laughs> Good. All right. The prediction has basically been settled with 67% for Wiro, 33% for Questionator. More money on Wiro. That's interesting. Okay. Well, now that the betting is over, I can say who I'm voting for. My bet's on Questionator. I'm going for the underdog here. Might be because I've diffed Wiro one too many times. I have hope in him. Let's go for it. Questionator, I got you. My chat might not be on your side, but I'm on your side. <laughs> uh... Now, are you guys doing items or not? Because items are important to know whether you are or are not allowed to buy them. We need to get the rules uh, stated here. Any items we want to buy. Okay.
Well, I guess we're just waiting on the match then. <laughs> By record, trust, yes. <laughs> waiting on Wiro's reply, okay. We're all waiting on Wiro. I'm gonna change the title of the stream. We gotta update this. Clash of the Titans. Wiro versus Questionator 7 1v1. There we go. All right, here we go. The spectator is working. We're on TDM Magistrate's Archive, so they have a lot of room to actually latch to the roofs here. I assumed it was going to be on Throne, because that's just my go-to 1v1 map. But this makes a lot more sense for Seven, because there's a lot more room for Seven to actually do some fun stuff. So... Yeah, this will be very cool. We're waiting a little bit on the delay here, so that way it's not real time, because that's how Paladin Spectator works. But... This should be very interesting. Personally, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I want to see both of them fight on the side of the map where, you know the you know the side where there's just a massive wall, right? Not, not the open area where there's like the balcony and the railing and stuff, but the other side. How there's that kind of hallway you can go around if you have enough mobility, where it's just a complete open air gap. I'll show it to you once we get in in a second. I would love to see an air battle there. That would be so cool, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, it's 40 to 40. That's crazy. I need to remember how to spectator. I actually don't know how to go up. That's my first problem. Um, chat, do you guys know what the spectator commands are? Or how to go up and down? <laughs> Please. And yeah, uh, using the numpad does not work. We cannot first person spectate these guys. Yeah, space does not work for some reason. Space makes my mouse show up. I believe the... F keys do something or the number keys or something? No? And so it begins. Oh boy. Keyword E is up. Those are not working. W and mouse direction? No, that's not working either. Okay, I don't know what's happening there, but at least we have a decently level field for this. And I'm getting the electricity effects from tribunal upgrades. So, off the bat here, Wero taking a bit more damage from Questionator. They're both going in. They're kind of jousting right now, switching sides. And both of them remain healthy, but Questionator is playing very aggressive right now, taking a lot of damage, and he gets deft by Wero with just a fraction of health remaining. I think he got a little bit too aggressive there, and it definitely did not pay off for him. Build check, by the way. They are using Terror 5, Never Look 5. And then reset cards as fillers, and Questionator just got diffed again while I was looking at the loadouts. That's how fast this match is going. Latch and Fire in the Night at level 2. Level 1 filler of ammo after explosive dodge. This is the part of the map I was saying, by the way. It would be really cool to see an air battle back here. You can go back here with 7, and it would be awesome to see that. But anyways, Questionator Wiro back at it again. Wiro's invisible on the wall. Questionator again taking more damage, and he dies to Wiro. It looks like Wiro is able to a lot more consistently land those weapon shots. Whether it's Questionator playing too aggressive or Wiro having the superior aim, it remains to be seen. I would edge more on Questionator being a little bit too aggressive right now. But he can still pull this back if he just focuses and maybe plays a little bit safer. Andrew, read chat, read chat. What's happening? I think that's just a bot. Did he crash? Wiro did the wrong build. Oh, did he? They're different builds. So Wiro's cheating. Are you guys going to reset then? Do you really need to reset? <laughs> oh yeah, I see now. I see. Oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna rematch, okay, okay. At least you guys see what I'm talking about though. Over here, right? <laughs> I totally want to see that. Just for personal satisfaction. <laughs> Alright, in that case, I'll return to lobby. I'll get ready to spectate the next game then. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Weirrow was diffing Questionator anyways, so GG, Weirrow wins. Well, that might have been because Questionator was distracted by the build. I don't know if that's necessarily fair. All right, let's spectate Questionator this time. Ready to spectate the player's next match. 
wait for them to do this again. Oh boy, we have to restart. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we're just building suspense. We got a taste for it, but turns out they didn't properly implement their own rules. <sighs> I'm just excited to watch this. <laughs> uh, it brings me back to the days when I tried to do a, a tournament. And... It was such a mess, but at the very least, when the actual matches were happening, it was fun to spectate and fun to commentate. It was so awkward. I did a summer tournament, and then I did a winter tournament. In the summer, in the summer tournament, it was horrendously understaffed, because most of the people I counted on just weren't there. And there was a lot of delay, a lot of sitting around doing nothing, and it was a mess. And then for the winter tournament, we had the opposite problem. We had plenty of staff, everything went smoothly, but I decided I was going to actually stream the highlights of the matches like a week later. And when I actually went to stream, all the matches were invalid. So none of the commands actually worked, even though I had checked them the night before to make sure they were okay. They must have literally expired the very next day, and it was so sad. But yeah, here we go. Questionator versus We Are Around 2, they're on throne this time, making it a lot more close quarters and intense, and also a little bit harder for Seven. We're really actually going to see here which Seven main is actually better at doing the tech where you're basically sky grappling, where you grapple right off the edge of something and it just sends you way high into the sky, even if you don't have a high platform to actually latch to. So that's a tech we'll definitely see here. I expect Wiro being the more experienced Seven player to pull that off more, but also, with this being a lot more close quarters, action-packed map, it might also be a lot more even and a lot more based on their actual aim. It'll be very interesting to see for sure. They should have done Abyss because funny massive map. Dude, Abyss would have been funny. That would have been really cool. Alright, once again, waiting for the delay. Did anyone actually figure out how to go up, by the way? Ah, uh, I should look it up. Paladin's Spectator commands. Okay. Um, keybinds. Camera controls. Um, the F1 keys and stuff are not working. Um, yeah, it is supposed to be E and Q, and those are just not working. So, Spectator mode is absolutely borked. I guess I am Talus now. We got uh, quite a great POV here. Uh, and Questionator, shooting Wiro off the bat here, but Wiro apparently not playing? Hello, Wiro? Also, I can use this ramp to get a little bit of extra height. There we go. Okay, what's going on with Wiro? If they're not working, you need to reset to default binds? Oh, come on. So I have to reset my own actual bindings to fix that? That's so cringe. I'm not doing that. I don't care enough. Okay, we are always here. We ready to go? We definitely don't have the wrong builds again. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <sighs> Wiro isn't reading correctly. You know when I said seven players eat glue, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Actual seven main moment right here. What even is this? Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, uh, let me see. Spectator. Yeah, there's not like a specific bind here either. So is it really just like down here or something? No? I am not resetting my bindings for this. I do not care enough. <laughs> Screw that, man. Oh my gosh, my game was bugging out trying to even leave there. Okay, third time's the charm, right? Here we go. I'm cued to spectate again. Great. Yeah, me and Stealthy would already be finished with a 1v1 by this time. It's actually been like 10 minutes. Ah. <sighs> Third time, if Wiro gets it wrong again, it's GG. I agree. You know what? <laughs> Wiro automatically forfeits and makes Questionator the winner. 
if he picks the wrong build again. Right? <laughs> Uh, they're delaying the 1v1 because we are on Questionator are the same person. Ah, right. We are IQ diffed. He already got Moji diffed. Oof. See, this is why I bet for Questionator to win. Team death match. <laughs> uh. Choose your champion. <clears throat> Grover's my favorite. Well, here we go. We're back on TDM Throne. Hopefully, no more technical difficulties. Please, for the love of Azan. Let's just witness some seven gameplay. Finally. Oh my gosh. All right. Andrew, stop it. You diffed me because you got Geno's Tyrant Dwarf Pocket. We were already over this, Wero. You fell for the bait of Emoji Ult. That has nothing to do with any of those pockets. <laughs> uh. All right. New prediction. Wait, did somebody do a new prediction? Oh, someone reset the prediction. I... Okay. I'm not sure why that happened, but... Okay, I guess we're here. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, man, this delay, though. Spectator mode in Paladins is the buggiest thing, I swear. All right, here we go. We're finally in the match. I also feel like my spectator sensitivity is really low. Is that an option here? No, it's just like lower than normal. So weird, man. This game is... This game sucks, man. All right, loadout check. Questionator, again, using the exact same build that they were supposed to use this time. We row, double and triple check. Okay, there we go. That's the same build. All right, we can finally play the game. Let's go. All right, and the battle so commences. Questionator going in the air, letting Wiro hit some easy shots on him. They're jousting a little bit. Wiro taking some damage, but Questionator taking a lot more here. And Questionator falls, dropping Wiro to half health, but not quite able to get that kill. All right, he's grappling in again. Wiro going for a very aggressive grapple here. Questionator not taking advantage of it with good shots, and he falls once again. All right, Wiro zipping around to the other side of the map. Questionator's trying not to let him breathe, not let him heal out of combat. He's got him really low. He can totally take advantage of this here. Wiro's going around for some epic movements, but... Ooh, that was way closer than I thought it would have been. Questionator does get the kill, though, bringing it up to one or two. Wiro's not letting Questionator get a moment to heal out of combat, but he's taking a lot of damage here, and he gets sniped out of the air by Questionator. What a shot! Wow, he got him with the ambush. Half health? And Questionator still won that. Alright, they're both flying around opposite sides of the arena now. Playing a bit passively here. Questionator doing some aggressive stuff. Wiro's being equally aggressive. Both of them super low. And Questionator comes out on top once again. These are some really close bouts we're having here. Wiro. Ooh, he tagged him. He is not healing out of combat, and Wiro is just not playing fair right now, man. Look at that. That was just mean. I guess they allowed that in their rules. Usually I don't allow that in my rules, but it's their 1v1 here. Questionator taking a lot of fire here again, and he falls to an epic shot from Wiro. Wow. Alright, this is really evenly matched here. Wiro's going in. They're jousting midair once again. Neither of them taking damage. Both their health bars are basically the same right now, but Questionator just takes a load of bullets to the mouth, and Wiro's pulling ahead once again. Three to five now. Let's see if Questionator can bring it back. Once again, on the back foot here. Ooh. I can feel them playing a bit safer here. Wiro's got the upper hand on health, though. But he's taking a lot of damage trying to push Questionator, and Questionator actually takes the dub there. Gets that kill, brings it back up to four to five. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's he's trying to heal up out of combat, but Wiro's mobility is just superior, and he falls. Are ults allowed? I don't actually know. I guess we'll see here, because they do have their ultimates now. Oh, Questionator's just taking a lot of damage from that dive, and Wiro is going to snipe him out of the sky. <sighs> I wonder if page up works. Actually, no, that would make the match faster, not the movement speed faster. I want to go faster. The spectator controls are just so clunky. Anyways, we're taking a lot of damage on that dive now. 
They're both bouncing around that wall. Questionator going for the vantage point, but he dies. Gets cut down. Trying to dive Wiro. Wiro is really pushing the lead right now. It is not looking good for Questionator, but he's still got more than half the time on the clock to turn this around. Got some epic air battles going on here. Questionator trying to go for the Blitz. But falls once again. Starting to feel repetitive. Wiro's just dominating right now. Kill after kill after kill, and he does heal out of combat. Loses the air joust, though, but on the ground, Questionator just takes so much damage. And Wiro is just absolutely annihilating Questionator when it comes to those air snipes. Questionator's going to have to rethink his strategy if he wants to win this game here. Wiro's playing aggressive now, and he's taking a lot of damage for it. Oh, that aggression did not pay off. He got way too cocky there. That might be Questionator's route to victory. Let Wiro play aggressive and take him down on the defense. But you also have to keep in mind that Wiro doesn't have to play aggressively right now because he has such a massive lead. If he really was hard set on winning this game, he could just play defensively the rest of the match. He is going in, though, for the kills. And he does take that kill on Questionator. All right. Let's see how Questionator manages to try and pull this back. They're both flying around. Wiro is just dominant on those air snipes, though. I mean, look at that. Wiro does take a lot of damage here, though. Ooh, he is so low. Both of them are so low right now. All it takes is one misplaced bullet, but Questionator does manage to slay Wiro with how much, how much health? Look at that health bar, man. Oh, and he just, oh, uh, Wiro playing unfair once again. Just diving in when he has no HP. He is taking a ton of damage right now, though. Questionator ought to push that. Ooh, huge air snipes? Oh, what a shot from Questionator. Absolutely nailed him. That was brutal. And he's flying in once again. He's up top. No cover up there. But a good vantage point. Raises him. Ooh, ooh. Questionator biting off more than he can chew. And he falls once again to Wiro. They're only apart by six kills. This could still be brought around in Questionator's favor, but he only has less than five minutes now to pull this back. Wiro is getting decimated, though, and that is a lot of bullets to take him down. Questionator needs to heal up out of combat here. He is just taking a bunch of damage from Wiro, though, and he does fall. <laughs> just let each other heal. Chad is mad that Wiro's not letting him heal. I guess if that's what they want to do, though, then that's what they're going to do, and Wiro takes him down once again. This really is not looking good for, we uh, for Questionator anymore. He has a gap of seven points in order to actually take back the lead. Wiro's going in aggressive. Ooh, and it pays off. He actually does take down Questionator. Not enough accuracy on those mid-air shots from Questionator. Some chatters believe in the comeback. Others of them want to change their votes. And Questionator is AFK. Hello? What's happening here? Hard to really tell what just happened there, but I guess they're fighting. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Questionator is barely breathing right now with how much health he has. Just trying to heal up out of combat. Unfortunately for him, the Wiro also healed out of combat. He's trying to make some aggressive plays here. We'll see if it pays off. Precise accuracy. Ooh. All right. Wiro was not accurate there. Dropped down to just as little HP as Questionator, and he does take him down. What an impressive kill. That was very risky, but it did pay off. Wiro kind of fumbling there. Still has a major lead, though, so he's comfortable here. And he's going in. He is kind of low right now, Wiro. But anything can happen in these 7-1v1s with how mobile they are and how much burst they have. Yeah, look at that. Both of them low, and Wiro actually does take that kill. Taking back the 8-point lead. 2 minutes 40 on the clock to get 8 kills here from Questionator without dying once. That is a tall order for anyone to come back from. We'll see if he manages here. But if he doesn't make something happen soon, then it's going to be in the bag for Wiro. Oh, and he just cannot keep dying like this, man. That is not what you want to see when you're trying to recover that lead. 
Weiro gets the chance to heal out of combat, but Questionator is AFK again. Oh, nope, they're still going. Okay. <laughs> Taking a breather, I guess. Thinking of a new strategy. Similar HPs here, but Questionator is just getting ambushed by Weiro. Hit some good shots on him, though. Oh, he is so low, and Weiro just takes him down. Oh, I don't know, chat. This is not looking good. I think they're buying items, not AFKing. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. They're still going at it, though. Uh-oh. Questionator taking some fire here. Oh, a few shots center mass. That electricity is blazing on both of them. Lero has the health advantage, and he does use it to take down Questionator once again. 11-point lead now. For Questionator to break with a minute on the clock. Is it even possible? I don't know. I'm leaning on no. But who knows? I mean, he does diff Wiro there. Wiro kind of just toying with him. Now, I, I, he just held double. I don't know what that kill was. <laughs> and now he just aggressively pulls in and takes the kill back. Chat. I, I don't want to call it early, but this is looking pretty Grover. This is looking pretty done and dusted. Questionator does get another kill. 44 seconds to go with 10 kills left. And they're both just stalling out, letting the time tick down. Whoever voted for Wiro, it looks like he might be coming out on top here, even though Questionator is cleaning up in these final few seconds here. I just don't think he has enough time left. And he's getting chased now, not being allowed to full heal. Okay, he does full heal successfully. Taking a lot of damage, though. And... Ooh, yeah, 10 seconds left. That's a GG. That's a GG, chat. So the final score. Wiro, 22. Questionator, pulls it up to 13 at the very end there. Well, that is a firm and solid victory for Wiro. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, that was a riveting 1v1. Love to see it. My excuse, Questionator is not British, bruh. <laughs> uh, that was really fun to watch. I can only imagine the sweat. <laughs> After that loadout fiasco? Yeah, I guess he just comes and brings it back. Alright, so how many channel points? 63,000 on Wiro, 29,000 on Questionator, so a solid pool of 29,000 going back to the people who voted for Wiro. Alright. Well. GG's. I guess it's official now. <laughs> Alright! Uh, well. I guess I feel a little bit disappointed because I did say Questionator. I, I, I hoped he was going to win, but... Oh well. <laughs> At least I can diff both of them with Makoa, right? Hey, hey, hey. Just bring Kana, Andrew. I mean, I don't know if Kana's in the chat right now, but that would be an interesting 1v1 too. My money would be on Kana for that, because, I don't know. Man's wild. He's an eldritch being. Kana can diff both of them at the same time. Yeah, probably. EV1v1 with Jiki Wen. Oh, you guys want to do that too? Stealthy versus Jiki? I'm down to spectate that. <laughs> We're turning this into a spectator stream? Okay. All right, you guys got that. Let's go. Uh, if I can actually type. Here we go. Spectate Stealthy 8. Oop, and Kana is actually in the chat. Okay. Let's do the EV1. Let's do the EV1v1 here. Let's break up the... Uh, the the seven gameplay a little bit. Andrew will dredge one v one me. Don't worry, bro. No, <laughs> that would be a curb stomp. Are you kidding me? Why are you using the private account cheat? By the way, I do have that question, Kana. Yeah, why are you doing that? Are you the flats of paladins? When are you spectating cheaters? <laughs> I guess I am now. This is not what I expected to be doing with my day, but here we are. This is, this is fun. This is fun. 
Oh, we still have champion quests on. I'm gonna turn those off, because we're doing 1v1s now, I guess. Uh, here we go. Let me uh, fix that. Do, do, do. There we go. All right. Fix that. All right, Stealthy and Jiki are talking about the rules here. Out of combat healing after kill is allowed, so we're not going to see those absolutely foul plays that we just saw in that last seven one v one. And they're in the match. Here we go. Stealthy, level two hundred twenty five Eevee, actually a higher level Eevee than I am. Got the uber spady drip going here versus Jiki, level ninety one Eevee. I believe they said this was controller versus keyboard. Uh, if I recall correctly, Jiki's the controller, right? Or do I have that backwards? Oh yeah, we need a prediction too. Uh, here we go. I got this. I thought one of the mods was doing that. Alright, here, let me start a prediction. Best EV. Um, stealthy versus Jiki. And you guys get one minute to vote. Good thing we have some delay here. Alright, I got it. I got it. I am ready to lose more points. Oh, yeah. My money is on Stealthy. that That's what I'm going to say. But I was wrong about the last prediction. So, but, you know, take that for what you will. Jiki is the one on controller. They just confirmed in the chat. Some people voting the underdog. Dennis voting for controller Eevee. I mean, Dennis is famously really bad with financial decisions, so I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Currently 71,000 on Stealthy, 10,000 on Jiki, though. Jiki is definitely the underdog in this situation. I'll be curious to see who comes out on top. I'm curious to see actually how good a controller Eevee can even do here. Um, where's my mouse? I have lost my mouse, bro. Okay, there it is. Ah. Let me hide the prediction. Oh, they're already going. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I'm late to the party. Anyway, Jiki taking a lot of damage here. Stealthy is going in for the kill, being very aggressive early on here in this 1v1. I want to try and go up. <laughs> My spectator mode is so bad right now. All right, I should be able to do something like this. There we go. Neither one of them has died yet, by the way. Stealthy now a little bit lower on HP. Both of them are going wormhole with Chronos. So I guess those are the rules that have been decided upon. Finally have a good vantage point here. Jiki taking some damage. They are half health here. Ooh. Ooh, taking a lot of damage. Almost got the kill, but they dodged at the last second. Ice block being brought out, though. This is so manic. How have neither of them died yet? Alright, Jiki taking some fire here. Seems like they're the one usually on the back foot here, but they are managing to stay alive, which is certainly a good thing in a 1v1. They are flying all over the place. Once I get a chance, I'll do a build check, but... Ooh, boy. Alright, there's some more damage on Ziki. Ooh, really, really low right there. Stealthy might have the kill here. And there's first blood. Alright, quick build check. Rift walk. They're using different builds, actually, but I guess that's what they're allowed to do. So it looks like Ziki is more of a traditional blink build, but with frigid field. Okay. And Stealthy is using the rift walk build. So, interesting divergent builds here. Jiki taking a lot of fire there from Stealthy. All it takes is a good blink and some damage. But that doesn't happen. Jiki actually living here for now. Back up to full HP. Stealthy is just playing so aggressive. Oh my gosh. She twirled on him. Twirled on Jiki. Just whoop, 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 right in the air. Oh my goodness. Well, this is not looking good for Jiki right now, but it's still very early in the 1v1. They can definitely bring this back right here. Jiki trying to play more aggressive here. Stealthy just ice blocking the whole thing. Taking it nice and slow there. Being aggressive themselves, but Jiki doing the same thing with the ice block. Got a glancing blow on Jiki, but Stealthy's taking a lot of damage here. Both of them kind of have health right now. Stealthy definitely having the health advantage. Health advantage is very important in an Eevee 1v1, where both characters have just so little HP. But Jiki, oof, just got dunked on right there. This is not looking super great. I'm not going to lie. Both going in, though. Stealthy taking some damage now. Still playing aggressive, despite that health deficit. 
And now back up to full HP because of that flicker. That healing on Blink definitely working out here. They both have a lot more self-sustain than the 7s did in the 7 1v1, which definitely helps them out for the longevity of this match. Ooh, Stealthy finally getting taken down by Jiki. What a blunder on their part. Just taking a bunch of damage there from Jiki. All right. Well, it's not over yet for the Jiki voters. I'm probably butchering their name, by the way. I... That's the only way I can think of to pronounce it. Listen, I don't know. It's Polish. It's a fake language, okay? <laughs> I mean, what? Huh? Sorry, what? Huh? We do a bit of trolling. It's fine, chat. Don't worry. Back to a standstill, though. Jiki. Still a little bit low on HP, but now both of them at full HP. Playing it nice and slow here. This is a lot slower of an Eevee match than I'm used to, because I'm a snow globe player. <laughs> I'm not used to all these safe plays with Wormhole here. Not a lot happening. A lot of blocks, a lot of blinks. Jiki taking a beating, though, and they get pummeled. Three consecutive shots to take him down. Alright. Catching their bearings here for a second. Still only a three-point lead for Stealthy right now, but we are about halfway through the duration of this match. Definitely a lower right. kill game than the previous match. There's one good shot on Jiki. And they flew back over to Stealthy, having to uh, ice block there. Taking another huge shot. Another huge shot. They're having to sort to of stay alive. Stealthy does not hit that follow-up shot, though. But Jiki's still in grave danger here. The ice block comes out again. Stealthy's just pummeling. And Jiki actually managing to recover that health deficit. That's good. They're staying alive. Ooh. Ooh, Stealthy playing aggressive. Jiki dodges, though. Gets a shot on Stealthy. Ooh, this is Jiki's to win right now. They're ice blocking, though. Leaves ice block. Oh, Stealthy missed that shot! That is huge for Jiki! We'll see if they can stay alive here. They're just throwing away. Oh my gosh! That could have been game over for Jiki right there. But both of them are still hanging on. Ooh, another huge shot on Stealthy. Stealthy could actually die here if Jiki plays it right. Oh! And Jiki bringing it up to 4-2. Let's go! They might be able to bring this back around if they keep playing like that. Battle's still not over yet. Still four and a half minutes here. Ooh. Ooh! Bad ice block takes a shot right at the end of it. Jiki's trying to soar away. Did Stealthy hit that shot? Nope. And Stealthy's back on the other side of the map now. Not going to be able to take on that kill quite yet. Ooh. There's a glancing blow. Both of them back up to basically full HP. Both of them taking no damage. There's one shot on Jiki. Alright, they're both one shot now. One shot down. Oh my gosh. This is such a slow match! <laughs> uh. I'll let you know when someone actually takes damage. Hold on now. Oh, there's a shot on Jiki. There's a shot on Stealthy. Ooh, Stealthy is really low. Ice blocks, but a falling blink shot on that sword from Jiki takes him out. What a shot. That was very well played. And the lead grows smaller. It is now 4-3. to three. If Jiki gets one more kill, this game is completely tied up. A lot closer than anyone was expecting, given that prediction. Oop. Alright, Jiki taking some damage here. Stealthy is now having a little bit less HP. Good ice block, but Stealthy is low once again. Can Jiki finish this? Ooh, tight blink there. Jiki turns around and gets the flick. It is now officially tied up. Four to four with three minutes left on the clock. Jiki, the underdog, getting a massive kill streak right now. Let's see if they can keep this up. They took some early damage there, though. But it looks like they're going to be fine for now. Stealthy playing aggressive now. Good blink from Jiki dodges that damage. Still taking a bit of a glancing blow, though. Yeah, they're both playing safe on their respective sides for now. This is anyone's game to lose. With two minutes left on the clock, it might not be the final kill, but it's one of the last kills of this match. This could be the deciding bout. Oh, one shot on Stealthy. Bad ice block there. Ooh, but they managed to heal it back up. Yeah, this is completely tied up right now. That's a huge shot. Oop. 
All right, she narrowly dodges that, but takes some damage, and Jiki just falls so quickly to Stealthy, bringing it back up to 5-4, Stealthy's favor. Two minutes left on the clock. We'll see if Jiki can re restore that lead. Soaring around. No damage, though. All right, Jiki blocks that damage from Stealthy. Takes a shot at the end of the ice block, though. Well played by Stealthy. Timing that out. Another shot? Oh, Jiki is cripplingly low right now. Stealthy. Should really be thinking about capitalizing on that. Ice block comes out, though, and both of them go back up to full HP. Okay. Oh, massive damage on Jiki during that joust. Oh my gosh, Stealthy is really low, though. I don't know who this bout is going to go to right now. But this fight is tense. Stealthy taking a lot of damage. Lots of blinks going out. They're jousting mid-air again. Jiki goes for the shot. Misses. Stealthy dodging shots. Takes a shot, though. Alright, good ice block. Stealthy still with the health deficit. Just not able to be tracked during that soar, though. Stealthy infamous for their untrackable soars. Jiki now taking a beating. Ice block saves them from some of it, but they're down now. Stealthy now. <laughs> now they're the one who's down. There's so much healing and so little damage in this match. It's kind of crazy. It's just a massive fight in this corner. 32 seconds left. Jiki has to pull something out if they want to take this game. Make it tied up. Ooh, Stealthy. Half health here. So is Jiki. Ooh, missed the blink. Not a good glancing blow there. Jiki now really low. Saves their life from the ice block. They're able to survive for now. Ten seconds left. Jiki, you gotta do something, man. Or this is over. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And what a close battle. But the victory goes to Stealthy with a narrow five to four victory. That was so intense. That was really close. Considering how many people voted for Stealthy... That was a lot closer. That was a very good performance by Jiki. Whew, that was absolutely insane. And that was a controller player, too, who lost. But they made it that close with a controller. That's very impressive. That's very, very impressive. Wow, these are some cool games. Alright, what are we doing now? Are we doing Kana versus Wiro? Or are we doing... <laughs> me versus uh, Stealthy, I know some people wanted... Kana versus Wiro next? Okay, Kana versus Wiro next. Here we go. Let me spectate Wiro. Y'all can figure that out. Did I need Wiro's build? I mean, you're arguing about the rules with Wiro. It, it's between you two. Oh, yeah, I changed the stream title. Yeah, Clash of the Titans. Uh, let's do. Uh, seven and EV one v ones. Here we go. All right. Um, let me pay out the prediction as well. I got some things to do while they're figuring out how to do this stuff. All right. Stealthy won that. Complete the prediction. Yes, I know how predictions work. Thank you, Twitch. All right. <clears throat> Think you missed the champ request? Oh yeah, I have refunded the champ request. Don't worry. This is going to be a massacre unless Wiro pulls out the good gaming chair. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the thing paid out. I was I was about to say, why is there another Eevee prediction? Oh, no, hold on. Let me do a new prediction. Here we go. Slash prediction. Start prediction. Uh, we need... Uh, best seven alien. Wiro versus... Na 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 na. Here we go. All right, there's your new prediction. All right, and we are just waiting for this match to start here now. Moments away. I've turned into a uh, <laughs> a tournament commentator or something. This is fun though. Holy crap, dude. 85,000 already being bet for Kana. The prediction just started. Oh my god. Can you imagine if Wiro wins this? I mean, I'm my money would still be on Kana personally. 
but this would be the biggest underdog tale of all underdog tales if Wiro ends up winning this. If Wiro wins this, I'm dropping 10,000 bits. Don't count on what I said. Okay, if Wiro wins this, I'm gonna hold you to it. <laughs> Not likely, but you know. Now, if Wiro wins, somebody gotta give him a gifted sub. Give him a gift of tier 3 or something. You know? He deserves it. No, I'm not shaving my beard for that, okay? That's if I lose the Eevee 1v1. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna be shaky and just lose that because I'm trash. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it because it's a wormhole 1v1 and I don't play wormhole. Oh. <laughs> 17 people voted for Wiro and 14 for Kana. Those 14 are just filthy rich. I see. The 17 people are just trying to steal the money from the rich people. I see. If Wiro wins this, I will stop playing 7 entirely in Manvatu. Aw, you don't gotta do that. That would be a little bit crazy. Uh, uncued from spectating. Okay, um... Let me try spectating again. Is the match starting here? Cue to spectate players next match. They could have just been fighting and I have no idea because the spectator broke. I think we're good though. When are you doing the Moji 1v1 with Roman Ulfoka? I <laughs> I'm going to lose that. I can only 1v1 with my mains. Uh, can we get any word from Wiro or Kana? Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, no, the match is starting. Okay. <laughs> Weirdness. Lovely. Alright, let me try and get some height here again so I can spectate properly. Alright, Wiro versus Kana. It looks like items are allowed, and they are using the same build. Tribunal upgrades, both getting Haven. So it begins. And the match has started. Wiro being the underdog here versus Kana, the, uh, Eldritch God, a.k.a. Hacker, a.k.a. I don't even know. And Wiro almost takes him down, leaving Kana on just a sliver of HP, but Kana does take that kill. All right. Ah. Let's see. Wiro's taking some pot shots, taking a beating back, though. And Wiro just gets slain. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wiro's not letting him heal out of combat, though. Doing a lot of damage to him right now, but Kana's aim proves superior. Yeah, that's that Kana aim. Oh boy. How does he do it? Who knows? Maybe he is a cheater. <laughs> Nobody really knows what goes on inside Kana's head. All we know is this is the map where you figured out how to wall hack with Kasumi, so that's a thing. Not actually installing hacks, by the way, just an actual bug. Ooh, ooh, Wiro lives for now. On basically no HP, though. And both of them are able to heal up out of combat. Kano's going in, knowing he can maybe take advantage of it. But he doesn't take advantage of it in time. Wiro's still taking an absolute beating, though. Kana misses those air shots, though. Hold on. Still takes him down, but those were some nasty missed shots right there. All right, Wiro's going in. Trying to stop him from healing out of combat, both of them being completely un unsuccessful. Stopping out of combat healing. Wiro gets massacred once again, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whew. Both of them are just missing everything. Kana finally landing some substantive damage on Wiro. Wiro is forced to retreat. Don't know how long that's going to last him, though. He's flying in. Doesn't get cut down. Actually, heals out of combat there. And Kana now taking a lot of damage. We'll see if Wiro can kill him here. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. At this point, I'm just rooting for Wiro to get one kill. Uh-oh. Ooh, it's close. But no cigar. All right. Well, Khan is trying to heal up out of combat. Takes Wiro down to the same HP. They're both just jumping behind walls. 
And flying around. We are getting battered with bullets right now. And he just falls again. Oh, wow. Can I refund my vote? Yeah. Ooh. He might get a kill, though. Oh, Wiro gets a kill on Kana. Completely disrespecting the out-of-combat healing, but uh, we don't talk about that. Kana's angry now. Seeing red. Oh, he saw too much red. He falls once again to Wiro. He's starting to choke here. Let's see if Wiro can make a comeback. Might be a comeback story, or it might just be Wiro dying again. I... Ah. Ooh. E. I. Oh. All right. <laughs> They're both jumping around once again. A little bit of damage on Kana. Oh, they're both pretty low. Both about half health. We are a bit lower. He's dashing away. And he just dies again. This is mean. This is... This is just a mean. Oh my... Oh, this is... Poof. This is mean, man! Uh. Alright, well, Ukana taking a lot of damage, though he does fall to Wiro. Wiro is getting a few kills here, but he's still got an 8-point lead to recover. And it's only 6 minutes in. Or 4 minutes in. 6 minutes left on the clock. 5 minutes 40 now. And he's taking a lot of damage once again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Wiro. Uh-oh! At this point, Kano's just chasing him, and he just... He does not stand a chance, dude. <laughs> Middle schooler versus a pro boxer. That... <sighs> okay, give him some credit. It's more like a uh, high schooler versus a college boxer, but... Uh, you know. Or pro boxer. <laughs> you know. Oh boy, Kana's really low though. Wiro's going for that greed. Does some damage, and he does take him down. Nice. Sunk cost fallacy is not real. Dennis saying Wiro to forfeit. Ooh, you know it's bad when the chat is calling for a forfeit. And Wiro, this is just. At this point, I'm feeling a little bit sick. This is just. This just feels awful to watch. I feel guilty, like I'm watching a crime go down. Ooh, boy. Alright, well, Wiro's taking damage once again. He just... Oh, man. Why did we let this happen? I know, right? Alright! <sighs> oh, Khan is taking some damage, though. He might die again. It's not a complete all-out stomp in Kana's favor. He has at least died five times. That's good to see. But, oh boy. All right! This just does not look feasible. With four minutes left on the clock to make up a ten-kill deficit, this is the same position Questionator was in with Wiro, except it's even worse for Wiro because it's even greater of a point gap. This is 11 points now. Kana being very aggressive, though, does take a beating. He does fall to Wiro, but, I mean, let's be real here. Is there any chance he gets 10 kills in the next three minutes here? Especially if he's taking all this damage? I doubt it. Uh-oh, Wiro. Oh, yeah. Ouch. I'm just gonna sip my coffee, man. Mm. Oop, Kana does die, though. I mean, Wiro... He's really starting to fight back here. He might even make it to 10 kills, and honestly, that's commendable. That's way better than I would do against Kana. But he just falls once again. Oof. Oop, I'm taking some damage here. <laughs> Both playing it very safe right now, and they're just air jousting at the exact same time. That's kind of funny. Lero is just getting peppered, though, man. And he falls once again. Oh my gosh. Oop, Kana might die again. The dream is alive. Come on, Wiro, you got that. Uh-oh. Oop, oop, oop. 
Hey, nice. I believe in the 10 kills. I think he gets double digits here. If this plays out. I mean, Kana's going to be a well above 20 by the time that happens. But, you know, I... It... it, 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 it. Oh boy. I I Can we subtract 10 points from Kana's score for that miserable misplay? Bro just slid off the map. Ah. Well, that's a free kill for Wiro then. Both of them have health right now. We'll see if Wiro is able to maybe kill Kana. They're both like one. Wiro dodging. He's barely alive. Going for the aggressive plays. But he just gets cut down. It's so sad, man. One minute left to see if we can get to double digits. Come on, Wiro. He's chasing down Kana, though. Uh-oh. Oh, and he just falls once again. Kana's trying to go for 30 kills here, man. At this rate? Holy crap. Let's see. Ooh, oh, massive damage on Wiro again. Oh. That's just brutal. Going in again. Wiro is just getting lit up right now. Oh, no. Oh, he almost died to the bomb. This is looking less and less likely that Wiro's going to get double digits. I mean, he's really got to pull out something here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no. That was so close. That was his chance. He's going for it, not letting him heal out of combat. Still taking so much damage here, though. Oh my gosh. And he just falls over again! Unless he gets a kill here in the next six seconds, the double-digit dream is dead. Oh, it's close! Oh, but not quite. Wow. Well, I'm not gonna act like I'm surprised. But oh, man, that's so sad. Not even double digits. Oof. That was crazy, man. That's so unfortunate, though. Alright, let me finish the prediction. Alright. Choose outcome. Yeah, Kana obviously won that. There we go. <sighs> Alright. Kana was scared about the 10. He was... Really trying to make this make sure that didn't happen. All right. Well, the question is, do we want to do one more? Me versus Stealthy. I finally step in the ring here. Stealthy still here, I think. Because Stealthy won the last one of you won, although it was very close. We are not doing Kana versus Andrew. Absolutely not. Yes, Stealthy's here. All right. Well, we got to lay out some ground rules here. I'm guessing we're doing Wormhole, right? The last 1v1, though, you didn't do the same build as Jiki, so I assume we're doing different builds here. Are we doing the same items or different items? I would say we just buy whatever items we want. That's usually how I do it. And then respect the out-of-combat healing, so there are no icky plays. <laughs> All right, we can buy different items. All right, sounds good to me. All right, here we go. North America. Let's do TDM Throne 1v1. And I guess I need to find a way to get you the password. Oh, boy. Um, I guess we'll do that. And then... Is there a way to DM on Twitch? I'm pretty sure there is. Whisper... Wow, that does nothing in there. Okay, what if I go here? And then... Uh, then do this? Okay, here we go. Alright, here's the password. I have DM'd it to you on Twitch. Alright, there we go. Lovely. Alright, wormhole. EV1v1. <laughs> I'm actually nervous, because I don't play Wormhole, and 
I'm kind of hungry. And I'm kind of, uh, I guess, overexcited from those last 1v1s. And so I don't know how I'm going to do here. Let me get my skin combo, though. A witching gold skin. Here we go. Man making excuses. Yeah, I'm hedging my bets. We don't have a prediction, by the way. Um, can one of the mods do that? Because I got to play here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Vamhole. Uh, do I want this? Probably not. We want this. Here we go. And... Alright. Um, let's do this. We're going Five, nimble. Four, three, two, okay. One. And the rift walk build. The battle has begun. Let's try this out. Why can I not reload? My the R button is just not working. Begin. Um, Hold on. We, hold on. We need to pause. My reload is not working. Should be bound to R, right? Okay, now that's working. Okay, I... I don't know why that happened. Oh, boy. Oh, this game is so weird. Alright, we're ready. Let's go. Ooh, direct hit. Nice. Oh, wow. They're doing a lot of damage right now. Holy predict! Okay, wow. I just got clapped. <laughs> like I said, I don't play Wormhole. So, you know... <sighs> There's some damage. Ooh, all right, ice block that. Do not hit that midair, okay. There's 640, nice. Ooh, oh boy. My aim is not there today. Doesn't help this is the first EV game I've played in like, uh, probably a week. Oh boy, I am so low. Can teleport back here. I'm just wait. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Ah, oh, the ice block. Okay. Ah, oh, no shot. All right. Oop, there's one. Nice. That hit, but my blink was awful. I'm totally chasing that man. No shot. All right. Ooh, deciding not to blink there. Actually buying some time. I thought you were going to shoot me. Okay. Oop. All right, both glancing blows. Nice. Huge damage. There we go. Oh my gosh, you are so low. Let's go! <laughs> okay. That was intense. Let's get some Chronos. Here we go. Watch that. There we go. Ooh, almost hit me. Oh, she's down an ice block. Huge. Ah, oh, let's go. Ice block ammo. OP. Whew. All right. Watch her start to spam the laugh. Oh, no, that's sabotage. Oh, no, not the sabotage. <laughs> I'm going to break down into tears. Crying. For how funny it is. Oh, no. Oh, I pressed left click there, but it was slow for some reason. Whoops. My B, my B. I don't know why I tried to track that man. What am I doing? Anyways, there we go. Clean that up. Whew. Oh, she's laughing again. No. <laughs> she's gonna do the the laugh and the sore thing, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna actually break down, dude. It's my kryptonite, man. Goofy laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Stop it! Stop it! My one weakness! Let's 
Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> ah. I love EV1v1 so much, dude. I don't even care that this one is moderately uncomfy for me. It's so much fun. The real secret is, I just don't care if I lose. Because if I lose, right, there's no shame in losing to a better EV. I am not the best EV in the world. And if I can learn something from that, that's really good, you know? It's the mindset I think is healthy to have for 1v1 like this. Ooh, imagine if that hit. Okay. <laughs> Trying to do, like, mind games here. There we go. <laughs> I, I actually, we never clarified if we were allowed to use ults. You know what, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, that just barely missed. Nice shot. I'm sorry, man. I'm a snow globe player. It's just instinct. If you want, we can subtract one from the score if it really was not actually allowed to be a thing. Uh, I'd be fine with that. Okay, we're fine. Yeesh. Yeesh. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is so much fun, dude. All right. All right, can I block? Counter that. All right. Ooh, Ooh good shot. All right. I need to be a bit careful here. Let's go for some sneaky shots here. Try and heal up. She actually had that position. Okay, well done. That was the glancingest of blows. Did that hit? Oh. Phew. Why was I tricked into voting for stealthy? I don't know why. I mean, just because I don't play Wormhole doesn't mean I'm bad. <laughs> I actually didn't even see who voted for me. They just, like, stand there and, like, wait for me to shoot to put it back. Kind of funny. Huge. She teleport back? Reloaded? Nope. Okay. Wow, she is really good at hitting those flicks when I blink up. Done more than me. Okay. I hit that. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Aggression pays off. <sighs> I thought Andrew was bad. Dude, I main Eevee. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Eevee is my second most played character after BK. And I'm arguably better at her. <laughs> at least if you look at my raw stats. Oh boy. Teleport back, I dare you. No TP? Yeah. Doing a better job of hitting her out of Ice Block than she is me. I think that helps. Oh my god, I hit that! Oh! Oh, that's huge! Holy crap! I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, I missed. That hit. Let's go. Huge. Alright, good shot. Okay. Alright, good ice block. I'm gonna TP back. She TPs, I'm gonna ice block. My blink didn't work! That could have been so bad! That could have been so bad! Oi. Okay. Everything is fine. She 
she's gonna shoot me. She didn't. Oh, well played. I missed my shot. Well played. Oh, okay. 40 seconds left. We have time for one more kill, maybe? Let's see. She'll be back, I hope. Nope, okay. <laughs> Both have the same plan. Let's go. One miss. There's one. Hit that. Whoa, let's go. We hit that too. Ah. Oh. All right. 10 seconds left. GG, Stealthy. Ah. Oh. That was so much fun. That was a really good game. Oh. Hey. <laughs> nice. All right. We can subtract one from the score if that ult kill I got was illegal. Uh, but yeah, that was still a very, very fun game. Selfie put up a good challenge. That was one of the harder EV duels I've had to face in my time. So that was really impressive. Like, you've come a long way. That's that's a good job. Was not expecting that ult. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's actually instinct there. It, it's just... I. That's just what I do. <laughs> so hard to control that. That was so much fun. Alright, what a game to end off the stream. Did not expect to spend this last hour just 1v1ing people and watching 1v1s, but that was a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Let's go find somebody to raid now. Holy crap. Um, yeah, let's see. Here we go. Um, Alright, we'll raid Snoopy today. Here we go. So yeah, make sure, of course, follow the Twitch channel, check out the YouTube channel, VOD's channel, Discord server, all of that wonderful stuff linked in the About section down below. And yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.